Yeah, over there. there. <laughs> because demons. Because vision was garbage demons. in the last movie. Demons! Demons! <laughs> just been refrozen after nearly erupting and destroying Portimo. After our brave heroes had stopped the volcano from eruption, they returned to Portanova, where they made their best efforts to save burning children and put out fires. Neither of which we successfully did. No. I saved a couple children. But Portanova is a city of endurance, and it will endure further strike. So with that, we can get started, and we'll go around the table and introduce everyone. I am your humble Dungeon Master, who used to play the one and only Atlas Blue, Joe. Oh, so humble. I'm Sam, playing Havoc. He's literally worse than Hitler at this point, but whatever. I am Morgan, playing the Tangu Shaman, Morgrim Ruck Morgridge. I'm Chris, playing the War Priest Zul. I am Victus Gulf playing the elf Unchained Rogue. I love how he had to look. Name. <laughs> well, yeah, what's your name? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I have no other name. <laughs> it's Liam. What um, a character actor, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Dedication. Uh, I'm Zach playing Griff Blorsk. Time Lord. And I'm Colby playing Dr. Hippocampus. And I am Duffy playing Volley. So... <laughs> Night, you guys, you guys had like spent the day sailing back, and you and you napped on your sail back in. Mm-hmm. And in that time, the frost on the volcano began to sort of crystallize and grow and become more icy, until it eventually reaches this point where it begins to chill the air around it. And as you guys sort of step off onto land and make your way across the city to um, the manor with the... I wrote her name down earlier. Lady it's Clementera. a good name! Lady it's Clementera. a good name! <laughs> yeah, Lady, Lady, Lady Clementera. You got back to her manor. And just sort of as the night was winding down, winding down, the air has cooled off enough, and it begins to snow regional, regionally localized on Portanova. Furthermore... The snow is, is, it's not really cool, or it's not cold, it's not like, it doesn't feel cold. It's almost like it's, it's almost like the ash has frozen over, in a sense. And the Champagne River, which bisects Porto Nova, begins to emit this aurora borealis kind of effect. And you all can feel a primal magic seeping into the air. It sort of envelops you, and it begins to take over your senses. You, you know, you can taste it, you can hear it, you can smell it, and yet it's insubstantial. 
And with that, you can also feel a boon of power Uh-oh. trickling through your veins. <clears throat> Is this our explanation for a level up? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Have we needed one? You can feel your connections to magic strengthen, and your understanding of your mind and body strengthen. And that is a really descript way of saying you all get the feats heightened spell. Um, uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I'm definitely going to use heightened spell a lot. <laughs> it's a magic place. You should have been magic. It's hue materials. And those of you who are proficient with martial weapons get improved unarmed strike. Wow. <laughs> is this a... Uh... That is me fixing some rules that I think are dumb, so I'm giving you the feats that fix those rules. What? How? Uh, what rules? What it solves none of my problems. <laughs> so hold on, heightened magic, you said was the first one? Heightened spell. Heightened spell. Issue materials and improved unarmed strike if you're proficient with martial weapons. So That's also that <laughs> What? What does that fix? Um, heightened spell is a spell that is a, is a meta magic that lets you substitute a low level spell in a higher level spell slot and get the benefits of using a higher level slot. Yep. Um, issue materials means that you don't have to produce a newt's eye and a feather of a gorgon every time you want to cast a single spell. You know, if you still want to produce those things, I'm not going to stop you. But I think that the rules in the game don't facilitate material components. And I think they're done. Man. So you mean you just don't want us tracking down shit? Yeah. Basically. yeah. What happens if somebody already has those feats? Because I think I yes. recommended people take some skew materials. Yeah. Yeah. Did you just take skew materials? No, it was the very first feat I took at level one. Okay. Yeah. If, you, if you took skew materials, I thought it was. <laughs> if you took skew materials earlier than last level, but like like Chris was taught, you you mentioned to Chris yeah. that he should take it. So if you took it at last level, yeah, it doesn't matter. I wasn't allowed to t- pick a new feat. Because, oh, it- yes. <laughs> <laughs> because you took it right away, you're getting a special bonus feat Woo! called Improved Eskew Materials. <laughs> all right, all right. You can use Eskew real? Materials to, per- to per- <laughs> for casting any spell that costs 15 gold pieces or less. That's so cool. your eggs. You can just pop eggs into I existence. Can pop eggs into it works. It works with me. That's I'm kind of afraid. gross when you think she's about probably, it. She probably <laughs> she's eggs out like a pet dispenser. Oh boy! I have a question. Yeah. If you have the shoe materials already and you got that at first level and uh, second, third level, don't get greedy. Mm. And <laughs> you aren't a martial class, so you don't have any martial abilities, and you can't cast any low level spells, so heightened spell does literally nothing. You get nothing. Cool. <laughs> All you right. get nothing. Just making sure. Yeah. Well, I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, you don't have spell slots either. So. Yeah. Well, now I can punch people with less and damage than my claws. You don't need materials because they're spell-like abilities. And you're not martial. You should have been a Magus. <laughs> get them all. Oh, oh, cats. Okay. <laughs> I thought you wanted the specific top thing. I said all of it. I wanted to do that. All right. So it is now evening in Lady Sarasmina's uh, mana. Oh, I didn't take a ship here. You are. You already are. Yeah. He did take it earlier, but we told him that it was pointless, and then he got rid of it. Yeah. And then we started. Okay. You remember. Um, yeah. So, so that's what we did. Yeah, so you guys were in the manor. manor. Is that where we left off? Yeah, it's the evening. Didn't somebody leave the manor? I did. Um, There's a lot of me He left, and he left the little bone. What? Yeah, he did. Yeah, you, you don't need to know what happens in my private life. We know what happens in your private life. <laughs> yeah, we do. Unless you have butt can. daggers, I mean, come on. Yeah. Alright, well. Um, do I get 300 gold? How long? No. Yeah. How long is it until Dr. Hippocampus and I need to be at the elevator? Um, The next morning, so eight hours from now. Is it nighttime? Yes. Sleep. Yeah, you guys can sleep. You won't benefit from sleeping because you had rested earlier. But you pass time. You get past the time. I meditate for an hour. I thought when you sleep, you only gain like one d8 back. Oh, or one hit dice back of uh, help. No, no, you get your level back because it's the number of hit dice. Yeah. Yeah, but because you're you're not allowed to take a long rest every twenty more than twenty four hours. Okay. Like Which means you can't just be like, I'm going to take a long rest, and then eight hours later I take a long rest. Mm-hmm. You can't do that. 
Okay, it doesn't make sense. You can't just grind for healing like that. Okay. Even though there's so many magical healing spells in this game that that doesn't make a difference. Yeah. I literally get every yeah. cure wound in the game for free. <laughs> the what? So does everyone want to go to bed, or is there someone that wants to do something specific before taking tonight off? Um, I mean, I've, I've stormed out, and I've, I've, I've found my yak, who is also my brother, if you've missed that. Okay. Um, <laughs> and I, I will return to the stables behind um, Taz's place, and uh, I will sleep in the stables. Will you, will you get your armor? No. Okay. <laughs> I'm not putting on my armor. I'm waiting for someone to return to the table before any armor gets put on my body. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, I would like to do my hourly meditation, and I'd also like to attempt to guide more spirits into the afterlife if I can manage it. So you're gonna you're gonna wander around the city this tonight instead of going to bed. Uh, after after I've done my medica- medita- medication 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 you need some medication. <laughs> Uh, and, and rested a bit. I'm assuming it's like... More like I get up really early. She's gotta see the spirit somehow, man. <laughs> the yeah. spirit to be you can, you can pop it in my Get up person. earlier to go and, and try and appease spirits. Okay, awesome. Because I'm, I'm a grown up all the time. Um, anyway. <laughs> I, I asked Lady Clementara, does she have an armory in this home of hers? Yeah, she does. I'm looking for medium armor. I'm efficient in medium armor. Who are you? <laughs> she asks. Yeah, you just kind of popped up, right? <laughs> part, part of the crew, part of the ship? Part, part of, of the, the ship, ship, part of the crew. She looks towards the rest of the party, and uh, she she asks if you guys know this person. If, if, he, if he was in any way... He linked into existence, didn't he? If he, if he well, helped it wasn't at the manor, it was outside. If he helped you with your journey. Not at all. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> I'm not there. I can't defend you. Yeah, you're not here either. You just kind of yeah. yeah so you're you're, you're you you you're you're sort of at the doorstep of this manor, and you're like, you guys got any armor? <laughs> because what are you talking about? We all sat down for dinner. Were you there? Yeah. Well, we had I don't remember how we ended. So did we eat? So we, we all we sat down eating. eating. She gave us some gold. Yeah, I stormed off. Yeah, he did join us because he appeared. Like in space Market. and time, having learned. <laughs> All right, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, she's got medium murmurs. All right. You mind if I have a medium murmur? I don't mind. Yay. Uh-huh. <clears throat> I'm assuming there's like a fire going on in the hearth or something. Yeah. I'm kind of sitting in front of that, just looking at the fire going, what the hell did I get myself into? <laughs> I uh, just wanted to end up. Dr. Hippocampus <laughs> will continue research. With the tree blood and the red and blue syringes. Instead of sleeping? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Instead well, of sleeping. I'll do a little bit of research and then... Because no. you have an early morning tomorrow. You, have, you and Griff have a meeting to go and, and, re- and hand in your, your doctorate review. I'll put in like an hour or two of work. Okay. And then go to sleep. <laughs> Please let me wake them all up ungodly <laughs> early. You're not even here. You left. No, she hasn't left. She's going to leave early in the morning. That's what she wants to do. Okay. <laughs> Just for you, Molly. Just for you. <laughs> the night goes by. The fire dwindles down. Um, the the uh, servants are, are sort of still up and about. They keep fire stoked because it is now starting to cool off. The chill of winter is approaching. Um, and the fall harvest has ended, signaling the beginning of winter. In Porta Nova. Uh, if that's the case, may I begin to get my winter molt? <laughs> <laughs> yes, losing it. It won't, losing it won't provide any substantial benefit. Um, and the dawn breaks. God damn, there's gonna be feathers everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, the bird is molting! It's morning. <laughs> is it like starting to snow? It's like crisp. Yeah, it's snowing. It's been snowing for the like, the last few hours because of the volcano. Oh shit! How much snow is on the ground? Um, as the snow hits the ground, it melts. Okay. Uh, is it still hot? Well, there's sort of the the, the um. Well, it's ever for snow. The river is also like a a steam. Um. So it's like raining now. Then. <laughs> yeah, it's it snows 
sort of in, in the upper part of the city and in the further lower parts of the city, but as you get closer to the river, it's it's emanating heat. The soaks. Oh, steam. It's always raining in the yeah, soaks. Yeah, so so it's 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 steamy in the in the soaks. That's where we are in the soaks. No, you guys are out in the uh, in like the country. Where the rich people go for vacation? Mm-hmm. Not really. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so the old people go to die? Nope. Florida? A little bit. Just that one Florida, house. This is, the, the, the entire city is kind of like a sauna slash, like you, you go into the steam and then you come out into the snow and you go back into the steam. Norwegian. <laughs> uh, it's morning. Awesome. Right, so yeah. I wake up and prepare for going to the town. Okay. I go find Dr. Hippocampus, wherever he's at. You find Doctor Hippocampus. He's he's um he's he's cleaning up his research from the night before. As he, I assume he gets ready for his journey into Old Town. I got a cup of tea as well. Okay, M- Mage Hand is holding up. Yeah, the, the tea here is is high quality tea. It's probably quite expensive. I'm gonna two lumps. I'm gonna make a cup of tea too. I'm gonna prepare my morning. Spells, and then I'm gonna hope to God that the uh, shop isn't burnt down and go look for some scrolls and ink. Okay. When are we being sneaked in? Uh, I don't know if you noticed this, but on our uh, way back, I saw that Spellcraft's building had kind of went down. So I don't know if he's alive, but we will. I will look for him later today. Oh boy! When I have the courage. (laughs) (laughs) Starts drinking immediately. Speaking to Griff in private. Griff, you're not going to do anything dumb in Hightown, are you? I might. <laughs> because well, I'll try to lay low. If I do it, it won't be around you. You're you're my patsy, so. Yep. Oh, yeah. I'll shine your shoes good. Oh, uh, yes. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> the shoes are already shined. <laughs> they shine the like pass. <laughs> he still has that like compulsion thing where he like does something over it thinking it's like cleansing it, but really doesn't do anything. Right. I uh I create two gallons of water times my level. <laughs> Double <laughs> <laughs> shoes. Those shoes. He's wearing rubber on boots. Doctor Hippocampus' shoes. <laughs> Good thing I have spares. <laughs> So do you, does Dr. Hippocampus and Griff head towards the elevators to go up? Uh, is it time? We sort of... Well, you had a morning appointment. We yeah. sort of sneak out when nobody's looking. Okay. Out the back door. We'll try to sneak out when nobody's looking. I'm already yeah, outside. Not really. Not super <laughs> sneaky. Just sort of like... We'll just kind of walk out. Like, oh, we're going to the, you know... Get go to the store. Cinnamon. We're going to see if the, the, the town's burned down. Bye. Yeah. Recovery. See ya. You know, we're going to help rebuild the town. Do good. Okay. <laughs> try and try too hard, Griff. <laughs> yeah. Um you don't you don't see Lady Terrasmina here. Um maybe she's sleeping in. Maybe. We don't know. Is there like a recovery of effort going on? Oh yeah. The fires have been put out by this point. Mostly by me. But um there's there's a lot of people who have who have come out, they're cleaning up debris. A lot of the debris sort of getting like chucked into the harbor. <laughs> Oh, man. Um, that's good. Does it just like flow and go? Isn't there like a a void it goes into? Yeah, there's a void that a lot of it goes into. <laughs> it goes to some other planet. It's just a trash planet. But also because because that void is sort of spitting up steam and water, it's also spitting up like soot and all of debris. Oh my god! Um, it's kind of a gross river. Yeah, the rivers are actually poor real estate at, at this point of <laughs> point in time um, in history. <laughs> If that was true in history. The river was a bad yeah. place to live. Oh, yeah, I believe it back in the time when you know, <laughs> came from right into, into it. Magic. Right. No, in real history. <laughs> 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 we're, right. talking about, we're talking about real history. <laughs> um, you, guys make it, you guys make it across town. The, 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 the trek is slow. It takes you about two hours to get across to the, uh, to the, to the elevators. Um, in here, it's steamy. And the gym buffs are especially getting the, their their fitness on in in, uh, in this hot oh, steam. Cool. Uh, you, you can you see you see uh, uh, Mofo. It doesn't look like he stopped working out. <laughs> we, we greet Mofo. <laughs> yeah, he's 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 like toned. He's well toned now. He's got like a nice glisten. <laughs> right. Um, I'm finally building up a sweat. And you can see that the elevators are shut down. 
so that's kind of neat. Well, <laughs> good. Is there anyone? Is there anybody there? Is there, anybody there? It? Um, there, there is a like a. Yeah, you, you can see that they're being manned, but they're not like as active as they were the previous days. I well, I go up to the man yeah. who previously had the man. Top is with. um the big shield still up around? No. Okay. Around old town. No, the shield went back up so that uh, the soldiers could come down and start with the fixing. Right. I hey, oh. I make my way to the. Uh, yeah. Destroyed right church of yeah. yeah. Jesus. Well, you guys are doing <laughs> I thought you were uh, sleeping in a little bit late. I did sleep in late, but I also took care of stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So you want to make your way to the destroyed yeah. church? Try to try to check to make sure there hasn't been looted and try to see if I can find the people who were uh, working there. I forgot. I did you find that church. most people here are still okay and they've begun repairing their damages? All right, I begin to poke my head in to try to see if I can find Father Tictus. Son of a bitch. He was killed in the next one. Father Tictus is not in the monastery. Damn. I leave a message for him. Okay. And say that Victus has returned. Okay. I, I want to head down to where um, the Spellcraft building was to see if I can find any survivors. Okay. You're going to strip club? <laughs> it's like 7 o'clock in the morning. I'm going to go see if that strip club has any survivors. <laughs> legs and eggs. Legs and eggs. Yeah, you, you, can, you, you begin heading across town there as well. Um, meanwhile, there's a man up in the elevator who, who responds to Dr. Hippocampus. He says, Hello. Who goes there? Dr. Hippocampus, I have an appointment today. An appointment today? Yes. <laughs> Let me check the book. <laughs> you guys can anyone here? Oh, oh. <laughs> have I made it to the shop where I know there uh where I can buy some ink and scrolls? I don't know if it's destroyed or not. You got like glasses. Um I, I got the find... rec- I know you went there, that's how I know about it. Yeah, you you you, you can make a Gather information check, which will be either diplomacy or lo- knowledge local. And which I have neither in, so we're just gonna straight roll this. Eleven. <laughs> you spend a lot of time wandering around the city today, looking for this shop. This city is a is a is a real mess right now. Uh-huh. And ordinarily, it would have been difficult to find a specific shop. Um, but let alone on a day where where a large portion of the city was burnt down, and there's lots of there's lots of effort. To, All my familiar markers are gone. Right. <laughs> um, but after after a day of search, we'll get back to you. <laughs> I won't spend all day doing it if I can't find it in a couple of hours. Uh, you don't find it in a couple of hours. Okay, then I just, I'm just i going to just turn back and... Uh... Like Atlas was able to find it because he knew where it was, yeah. but you haven't been to you haven't been to Port Michael before, so you're not familiar with, with the streets. Yeah, that's fine. I'm just going to go see uh, the strip joint for Spellcraft, then. <laughs> <laughs> we're, all, we're all going to the strip joint. <laughs> all right. Your, your, your efforts, Morgan, on uh, communicating with the dead. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You sick, sick son of a bitch. <laughs> Get the dice. <laughs> All the d4s are always sort down. I'm not going to roll any dice today. <laughs> <laughs> no. You get nothing! That kind of dungeon master you take me for. <laughs> your, your efforts in consoling the dead spirits are underway. There's a lot of people that died. Probably a better part of like two or three thousand people. All of them children. (laughs) All of them orphans. Um, I'm sorry. And and you're almost overwhelmed by how busy it is in in the spirit ethereal realms. Is that a spell that you use to do that? Uh, it's her magic item that I it's gave. It's my her. magic item. Okay. <coughs> yeah. She's like looking through the dream catcher to see the spirits. This is a little window. <laughs> I get it. Uh, I'm gonna try and use the dream catcher to filter it a little bit, and I'm gonna do it by like just the children. <laughs> most recent to least recent death. So I'm dealing with. I don't think it's like a. Everybody. Two kids are going. No, I died first. So well, 
I do want to learn more about my magic items, so I didn't know if I could filter in any way. There are the different strings, so I don't know if that I was aiming for specific ages. It or... was when you're not looking through it, it pulls towards the nearest ghost, and looking through it, you can see and talk to ghosts. That's that was my right, plan. Do you may make a knowledge religion for knowledge arcana check. Anything extra is the dungeon master. <laughs> this way to the underworld. Or knowledge. <laughs> What is it? Uh, Hades, James Woods. Uh, yeah. four, 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 four. Four. <laughs> Sixteen. You you've heard you can seem to remember vaguely a conversation. Maybe it was Atlas talking about this, or maybe it was Favali. But you seem to remember that if you used a focus, a sort of lens, you might be able to filter with it. But you don't have that lens, and you don't know where you can get it, and you don't know what it would look like or how to find it. Okay. But you know that, that, that something like that might exist for for your purposes. All right. I have a task. I have a mission. This is very exciting. Okay. I still try to help as many yeah. individuals as possible. Okay. Before I emotionally can't handle it, at which point I will go to the strip club. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'll go back to the house. Well, I, what I was going to say was... Um, if we imagine a scene where Morgrim is being swarmed by these ghosts because they realize that they can see and talk to her, them, um, and, and it reaches a point where she can't do any more. At that point, because Havoc's looking for her, he would find her, and like like as she's being overwhelmed looking through this this dream catcher, he would a, a, his bandaged arm like reaches out of from off off screen and, and spooks her because she's bound up tight. Oh man, <laughs> squaw! Yeah, I'll say that happens. You, you, Havoc does encounter Morgan in the streets. An unlikely encounter, but you do find it. And he looked, he looks terrible. You don't think he's slept. His eyes are, are bloodshot and, and sunken. Um, is, and he, is your brother with you? No. Um, okay. <laughs> but he does speak to you about it, uh, him, because he says, Can you commune with spirits that have not yet left? Good question. I haven't tried yet. I can try. Um, and he'll he'll take her back to the the, the stables. <laughs> All oh, right, I'd oh. like to imagine that I'm like getting air because he's pulling me so fast. No, he's he's <laughs> sort of stumbly. Sparks get kicked oh. up from his uh, uh, cleats because he's just sort of like sliding, shuffling his feet. Like he's he's in a bad way. So be it. And so, Doctor Hippocampus. Yes. After the better part of like fifteen minutes, <laughs> this guy has not responded to you. <laughs> Uh, let's see. He's just out of sight, but you can see him shuffling around up there. How high up is the, where he's at? Uh, I'm going to take Mage Hand. It's probably about 50 feet. Okay. Mage Hand with the flask. And... Whew. A flask of what? Water. Oh. <laughs> what are you trying to do? Oil. <laughs> Cloud kill. Oil. Oh, oh, kill and put steel. <laughs> You're gonna throw a flask up there at him? So there's like some. No, no, I'll, I'll pick just up a rock. Yell at him. I'll pick up a rock. This doesn't seem Mage hand the rock up there. Wait. Hey! <laughs> okay. It's a very small rock. So you, 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 you whip a rock up there and it sort of clings along the bottom of the uh, floating disc that he's on. And, you know, you, you can, he, he sort of goes. He, 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 he peers back over the edge of the disc. He says, Who goes there? <laughs> Who do you think? <laughs> oh, terribly sorry, sir. I don't have any uh, ability to let you into the upper city today. Oh? That's right. You see, thanks to the unfortunate events of yesterday, the elevators are closed off today. <laughs> you do realize who I am? No. Then you're sorely mistaken for not letting me in. No, I'm not. Oh, you will be. Please come back later. Uh, it will. It will be your job. <laughs> When's the next appointment? Would you like to make another appointment? Oh, I would. I'll pencil you in. <laughs> For when? <laughs> he goes back, <laughs> and maybe another. I don't know how 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 how, how irritated is Doctor Campus? Like, how soon do you think he would you would try to elicit a response from him? Because he's not going to respond to you. <laughs> I'll give him five minutes. <laughs> yeah, five minutes go by and he hasn't said a thing. You know, leaving me down here, you're going to lose your job. Right. How about two weeks from now? 
How about you come down here and I'll tell you why I think of that. <laughs> Two weeks sounds good. I'll pencil you in, Dr. Hippocampus. Very good. Doctor. You and your, uh, you and your Patsy can come along two weeks from today in the morning. I won't be seeing you because you won't have a job. And I Thank leave. You. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Meanwhile, at, um, at, uh, Fine Carvings, the... No, no. It was Portside. Portside was the name of the strip club? Yeah. I think Fine Carvings is a nice name. Well, that, that could be his new establishment. <laughs> <laughs> just, <laughs> right. Changing well, the name. Well, the building was destroyed. Yeah, they yeah, yeah. So they're, so they're going to try to. They're rebuilding it. And they're rebranding. They're rebranding. Rebuilding, rebranding. The Orreads, the, the Orreads, the two of them, um, Spellcraft and uh, uh, Crystal Dust, something like that. Or yeah, I don't remember her name. They're they're using they're using magic to erect a new stone building. Oh, yes. Correct. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Lots, lots of pillars on the nose. Um, oh, yeah, they're out there. So you, you got it. Um, so I, I see spellcraft. Yeah, Zul's, Zul's there. Zul would be there before me. Yeah, you, you get there first. Uh, so I'm, I'm looking at the building, and uh, uh, let me let me do a quick uh, knowledge uh, engineering check to make sure that they're actually building it correctly. I'm not gonna like oh, boy. <laughs> build something that's gonna fall down on me. Uh, Six. So that would be eleven. You reckon this looks stable? So uh, I talk to Spellcraft. Be like, so what's the uh, what's the plan now with uh, what the plan's supposed to be? <laughs> <laughs> he sort of looks at you. There's like people moving around out here. He says, "Plan? What are you talking about? You know the." Uh, the private show you're going to show me? Oh, what? Jesus <laughs> Christ. Let me just finish erecting this roof. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. As I see people walking around, I don't He's want anything to be attention. suspicious. I go, well, I hope that's the, the only thing you're going to erect. I hope so as well. <laughs> a few a few quick gestures later, he and um, in Crystal Dust have... Like completed this 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 rudimentary stone and earth building. Um, I just want to point out that at, during this time, I'm gonna just gonna look around, kind of inconspicuously for um, any elves that seem to be in distress, kind of like anybody who was hurt or uh, ones that just don't want to be there. Around the area, you reckon that anyone who has been hurt has already been moved. It took you about like two hours to get here, so it's probably about ten or eleven in the afternoon or in the, or in the morning. And um, you reckon that anyone who was hurt last night has already found their way to like a, a, a some sort of some sort of place where they could find uh, medical assistance? Okay, where would the hospital be? Um, there are hospitals, yeah. but they're, they're, the, you you in your in your wanderings around have passed by like tents where people are being treated. Um, the upper town is actually tending to people. Oh, shit. Sure. But, the, but they won't let anybody else up there. <laughs> but they won't let people up. So they've come down to help, but um, but it's obvious that their efforts aren't too powerful here. Yeah. A lot of a lot of the effort being you being put into reconstructing the city um, is local. Yep. You so yeah, you reckon that there's no one here that's hurt. Okay. Yeah. Griff. Yo. Meanwhile. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, um, Do you know any way to fly? Ha! Uh, <clears throat> no, it's no quite a bird. <laughs> um, <laughs> sure, yeah. but it's, it can levitate. Levitate. Not 50 feet. Not 50 feet. No. No, definitely not. What about Atlas? Do you think he knows how to fly? He may know how to fly. Hmm. Weren't they saying something about smuggling into... New job? They may have been. So I guess we should maybe go see what they're up to. That'd be a good idea. Where do you think they are? We can go back to the commissary. Find them. I don't think we know anything about Spellcraft. So no. There was only three people there. Zul, <clears throat> Atlas, and myself. Maybe we can go down to like where all the damage happened and see if they're helping the repair feature. So I, uh, I turn around to start to leave and then I kind of like Look back up at the guy. Is he looking down at all that stuff? 
Um, so, so the elevators are like floating discs that are almost see-through, but they're not quite. So you can see like a silhouette through the disc, and um, it looks like he's just murmuring around on like some desk. Oh yeah, I'm gonna shout out to him. Hey, buddy. What business have you? <laughs> and I cast Oracle's Curse on him and walk away. <laughs> um, oh boy. <laughs> so it's a hundred feet. <laughs> it's a hundred foot range. Uh-huh. Just, okay, you're, you're well within range. Um, <laughs> Yikes. I think there's a save. There's gotta be. There's only a save. Would this be considered a hostile option? <laughs> no way. He won't really know what's going on. <laughs> what does the curse do? <coughs> what? So, <laughs> so, what level is that spell? Is it first, first level? First level? Yeah, it's super easy. Okay. So, so, bird. so this, so this guy, like he, he peeks back over and he says, "What business have you?" And then you give him that gesture and you mm-hmm. cast the spell, and then like in a, in a snap, he sort of does another gesture and, and you can feel that your spell has just been countered. <gasps> and you, it makes it, it's a fair assumption that this guy. Is a spellcaster. You know. You know he's a spellcaster. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess we should go find him then. I did my thing. Dr. Hippocampus, since he is, he's walked away. No. Um, okay. Um, yeah, meanwhile, Volley shows up at um, Spellcraft's uh, establishment. And if you see, you see this... Uh, this recently built stone wall. It's it's obviously magical mm-hmm. um, because it's sort of just like too right. All the bricks are in the right spots. Right. And, um, it's too perfect. Ooh, <coughs> Jewish. And uh, there's no door on this building yet, but there's a, there's an archway. Is um, so spellcraft and. Uh, well, I forgot the uh, crystal. Yeah, crystal dust. Crystal dust are not outside anymore. No. Well, I'm gonna go in to see if they're alive because that's why I actually showed up. Yeah, you go in and you can see you can see Zool and Starcraft are chatting over there recently. Say Starcraft. I think I did. Starcraft <laughs> <laughs> are chatting over like you a, changed a, it's a over, a <laughs> over like a new marble bar. Alright. And um, you can tell that this place is getting a is getting a sort of a well deserved facelift. It was a little dingy when you came in here earlier. But now it seems as though Spellcraft is taking over with artistic liberty. Mm. Yeah. I uh, speak to him and tell him and go, I like you, what you, you got with the place. You gotta look at that artistic liberty before. <laughs> <laughs> I saw his archway earlier, don't worry. Yeah, yeah. He says, uh, oh thank you very much. Uh, as it just so happens we were talking about your arrangements. The plan of the plan. You don't understand what's happening right now. No, I, I was there. But you don't understand what's happening right now because I'm not speaking in common. No, he's speaking in common. Oh, yeah. all right. Well, that's not fun. Yeah. Keep up. So what's the plan? We're nearly ready to smoke a union. But there's a little hiccup. What's the hiccup? Uptown's closed off. You see, they seem to have a frog in their pants over the whole volcano explosion thing. So, they're closed off right now. But, two weeks from now, this morning, <laughs> you'll be able to get in. Okay. I understand. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go with the flow here. <laughs> two weeks! And, not only that, it seems as though a few of my contacts who were going to be smuggled along with you are dead. Sounds about right. So there's some barrel space open. And, as a little bonus, it was paid for in advance. So, <laughs> <laughs> if you've got anyone else that you'd like to bring along, there's oh, a, I got, I got a few. I got a few friends. How convenient. <laughs> Two weeks! <laughs> Two weeks! Two weeks! <laughs> I, I, th- I thank you very much and tell them I have plenty of friends, so don't reserve the spots for anybody else. Okay. Mm-hmm. And, uh, I give him ten gold for his time. Sure, Jesus. I'm gonna build a relationship with this. The, the bow tie comes off. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I give him, and tell him I want to be uh, 
partner in his business <laughs> since he's restarted. <laughs> you, you well, if you'd like to be my partner, why don't you go ahead and get me a door? Easy. All right. I'll go. I'll go get him a door. But tell t- him the ten gold pieces is just a down payment and everything. I like to for think future for future business partners. You understand? I like to think when he goes to hand the gold pieces, he goes, "Uh, uh-uh, uh, you know where to put it." His <laughs> 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 <a> coin slot. <laughs> Plinko. Um, I ask him. I'm like, which way to the lumber yard? He I'm still with masonry. <laughs> I'm like, you're telling me you haven't had any lumberjacks over here in the building? We don't get a lot of wood in here. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll get you a door. All right, thank you, Victus. Yes, I continue. I uh, make my way back to Tazas and begin assisting in the cleanup process around because. I know about zero of anything that anybody's involved with right now because apparently I was just home. <laughs> so, so meanwhile, while you're sort of back at at the the the, the uh, city block that Taz's uh, apartment is on, mm-hmm. you can you start cleaning up, and Griff and Doctor Hippocampus sort of come by because they were out. They you guys have gone to look for everyone else. Right. Yes. yes. And the most logical place for you to go is the place is the is the, the headquarters. headquarters. Yeah. 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 That's the club headquarters. And you hear a bird squawking <laughs> towards the stables behind here. Yeah, the stables are nearby. They're yeah. like a block away. And um, I've I've taken yeah. off my armor and like thick robes, and I'm wearing like shirtless oh, with like a, my shirt wrapped around my head. Like Jihad. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell him it is here. cool. It, the temperature's oh. co- the temperature has gone down. I run hot. Yeah, it's, it's not. It's, it's winter. It's, 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 I run really hot. It's the very beginning of winter, and it's probably around like fifty degrees out. Fifty. Yeah, oh. it's like noon now. Oh, so this is as, as hot as it's gonna get. I've got my shirt off. I've been no, picking up things. I have a minus two in strength, so somebody gave me a wood board, and that was like too much. <laughs> <laughs> so, right. we, so we come by and just see Victus slowly straining under a two by four. And it's like there's like there's like dudes walking with like whole trees. And he's up in there with like a little board. <laughs> I'm respected by my contributions, not my strength. <laughs> I, I come up and I lift the board up with one hand. Oh. <laughs> Are you okay, He's like Victus? hanging onto it. <laughs> Are you okay, Victus? The repair efforts are going well. I see, you're helping a whole ton. Look, man, your contributions are I'd greatly say it's like appreciated. Time. It is the it is the uh, the motivation that counts. You mean the thought that counts. Sorry, I was learning a different language, so I'm a little skittish on my common recently. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's it say? So you can feel that the um, the atmosphere in town is just sort of like, let's clean up after this mess. Um, Victus is on his way into in, into that effort. He's begun his his best tries. To clean up the mess. I like, I'm living my best life. I like go over to ah! I like go over to help him, and I and I is there like rubble in front of it or something like that? Oh, there's lots of rubble. So I pick up a little bit of rubble and I like go to throw it off the side. <laughs> just like just it ejects <laughs> ten feet in another direction. Oh boy! <laughs> maybe I should stand back. And maybe, maybe you guys could, do this. You could be a part of the line that hands things to people. Yeah, yeah, I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> just don't drop it. <laughs> Here, let me hand you this priceless vase. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you know, meanwhile, as you guys are cleaning up, um, Morgrim and Havoc come by, and uh, you know, she she seems to be like frantically <laughs> dealing with with whatever she's seeing. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Havoc looks like he hasn't slept in in, the, in a matter of like weeks. Oh, I approach Havoc. Mm-hmm. Okay. I put my I'm hand on my shoulder, kind of doing shoulder, and I whisper to you very quietly two things. One, we have a shower if you need it. And two, don't put your stick in crazy. What? What? <laughs> and then I walk off. He, he's up to something. Scheming. He's scheming. <laughs> Could you, Morgrim, 
speak with Doom, and I indicate my yak once we arrive at the uh, the stable. Okay. So, I don't have to speak with animals. <laughs> you <laughs> said you had to speak with animals! You are an animal! <laughs> Alright, okay, we can work with it. However, uh, I've, I've recently learned some new spells, uh, but I wanted to see if I could sneak a lower spell by with permission from... Some higher well, power. let's find out. Uh, animal purpose training. <laughs> My plan <laughs> would be that hours. he could write in the sand. The way it works is I'm training a specific task to an animal, mm-hmm. and they gain it for as long as I cast the spell. So he would be able to communicate with writing in the sand, and then when I let go of the spell, he can't do that anymore. Mm-hmm. So a short-term that. conversation could happen between oh, the Zack, the, z- the, the, z- yeah. the Yak, and Havoc. However... If you deem that unwell, I am willing to do borrow corruption. I will be temporarily turned into a Zack, a Zack, a Yak, and the Yak will temporarily become a goblin. I will be taking damage for this. Holy shit. <laughs> How long I was not expecting that at all. <laughs> I think RP was. That second one's a bit better. You like that one? <laughs> okay. Um, intriguing. It's like, like um, first of all... You know. I cannot cause the curse to leave. Uh, like I, I can't cause it to be done. I simply can transfer who it's on. Affecting. When Doom was affected by this polymorph, did he lose his will as well as his form? I was uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so right now, this is a yak. This is a yak. Okay. We don't know that, though. <laughs> yeah, no. You, none of you would know that. Well, it is him. It is his soul. Yeah. That's, you know, a, a thing. Um, but all I asked you to do was commune with mm-hmm. this yak. Yes. Um, so you don't know that the yak is under a curse at all. I can also... Th- this one, I've thought through a lot, is I can d- put animal sentience on the yak. What that means is he is temporarily completely sentient so long as he needs to deliver a message from me. And what I'm going to do is have that message be something... That's animal messenger. No, no. (laughs) Animal sentient and it's uh, for delivering messages. Level 4 spell. Um, And what it is, is he's completely sentient until the spell, the, the message is delivered. Once the message is delivered, I get to roll 2d somethings. 2d6s. And then at that point, that's how much time he's left to be sentient, and then he loses it. So he could be completely sentient until the message is delivered. Slash, I would roll that time, and then he'd be no longer sentient. Uh, mm-hmm. Let you me just just have, you just have to do a thing, and I'll tell you what happens. Oh man, yeah, I gotta you do can't it. ask me is this gonna work. I'll let you know if it works. And I recall actually from last session, I think I shouted angrily at a frost person uh, about the the nature of my brother's curse. I think. Um, I don't. I only vaguely remember that. It was a very long session. That the only people in your family are either yaks or dead. Yeah. <laughs> well, what I'm hoping is that maybe uh, after I'm done with spellcraft, when I'm walking back, I might just walk right into the um, to the uh, place where the animals are uh, to check up on my donkey and horse, right as whatever's going to happen happens. Okay. Or am I too far away? Um, you're far away. But we don't have an exact time scale for when things are going to happen, so I'll just roll some dice and see if I like the results. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It'll be sort of like a read the bones kind of a thing. Yeah, and it will have our spell decided upon by then. Okay, so I'm, I'm actually going to like communicate with Havoc and say, look, I can make him temporarily uh, sentient. I think at this point he would, uh, begrudgingly, he would explain that he's under that he's under a curse. I don't think he would specifically mm-hmm. say that uh, Doom is his brother, but he would say that my axe under a curse. Um, if if you could help me communicate with it, like he's he's trying to skirt around the issue. <laughs> okay. Um, where's Where's so, Atlas? So I <laughs> so if Atlas I, was back at the man. If yeah. I do the sentience one with the message, I can imbue him with the following 
skills, including linguistics, up up to um, class five. Of yeah, but I gotta say, just do the curse. Do the, do the curse. curse one. We that's, all want the curse. That's so fucking flavorful. Do the curse one. <laughs> all right, let me just read up on it like, real quick to make sure I do this right. And we cost takes ten like, hours. Say yeah. some, takes ten hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't worry about like that. Like you've got some shaman extrasensory perception <laughs> bullshit going on where you're yak like, for a little oh, I can see. You know, like there's there's more to this yak than just a yak. So the deal, and then decide to do the curse thing. Every single time Morgan more. Morgren does anything. I'm always imagining bat, uh, Birds of Paradise. <laughs> yeah. Just... Dancing. What's the name of the spell? Oh, um, <laughs> this is Borrow Corruption. Oh. Under level 4 spells for Shaman. Have I found a door yet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just What's kidding. happening elsewhere while we look up rules, I guess? Okay. Um, Zor, are you coming with me? We're looking for a door. Uh, I was headed back to go and see what's going on. Okay, no, no that's fine. I got off on He's looking for the knocker. Because <laughs> they need a good knocker. Good, good job, good job. Come on, I tried. <laughs> <laughs> Angry really? strip club's gotta have knockers. <laughs> Not from my side of view, unfortunately. <laughs> so one thing you find, Duffy, is a lot of people are, like, <clears throat> carrying and carting in wood. From, like, they're coming from the yeah, edges yeah. of town. Yeah. And, uh, you suspect that if you followed where they were coming from, yeah. you would get to the source of the lumber that they're using. Can I just stop one of these people and ask? You could do that. I'm gonna stop the first person I see and ask where they're taking the wood. From or to? To. Oh, they, they, they tell you, well, there was a bunch of, uh, volcanic rocks that destroyed a lot of buildings, don't you know? Yeah. We're going to be repairing those buildings with this wood. All around I have another building that needs a door currently. Oh, door. Yeah. I'll give you a gold piece if you can deliver it. Yeah? Yeah. And yeah. I, they walk back with me. Or, I'm hoping they just walk with me back to Spellcraft Manor. Well, we don't have a door. We've just got these. No, that's fine. We're gonna, I'll build the door. Oh, you want to build it? I'll, I'll build it. I just want the wood. Oh. I just need you to deliver it. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. I'll do that. No problem, man. So, I walk, I show him what. Yeah, this guy follows you for a gold However, piece. However, I don't know how far we, I walked to find him, but yeah. Probably probably about an hour. That's fine. Jeez. Yeah, it's a big, it's a place. big place. I don't really know my way around. I'm struggling. <laughs> I figured out how to get to Spellcraft and how to get back. You circle the same block three times. <laughs> yeah. Damn it. Finally, I just saw some wood. I'm like, that's my wood now. <laughs> God, I gotta stop working there. What, what would you three like to be doing? What would Victus and Dr. Hippocampus and Griff be doing? Are you guys going to just keep cleaning up? So I'm like, because <clears throat> I can't really pick stuff up. I'm going to like, you know, spots that are damaged. And I'm like a spot welder. I'm doing mending. Just gonna... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. So you're like repairing chairs and tables and things. <laughs> and, and people sort of like, why is he doing that? But after a while, you have this nice a, a collection of like repaired furniture. It takes ten minutes to repair each one. Yeah. Um, but before too long, things are sort of becoming homey again, and and the rubble is getting cleaned up. Is there like a hearth? Why are you charging people for this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, things are things are coming along. Uh, Doctor Hippocampus is going to help with the cleaning. But he's also going to try and ask a couple people where the, like, where a main guard house would be. Like, where, like, a captain of the guard would be. Did oh, you you're going to report one? him. Didn't you go to one to deliver the letters? Yeah, we did. We went to I, don't know if, I, don't I don't know if he was there. The campus went there. I might have. I don't remember. Was that we just kind of handed him off, though. Was, was, was that the one where I put the cheese in the... <coughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, I don't think Doctor. Uh, I, think the the us. I kept my letter. Um, they tell you that there are all sorts of guard posts all around. You, if you go sort of systematically along the coast, it's like every every second block you can find a guard post. There's a lot of there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, policing around the coast, but the deeper into the city you go and towards the soaks, there's less so because the the money is on the coast. Hmm. Is there? What's the largest one? Oh, the headquarters? Sure. Yeah. Well, headquarters <laughs> is an old town. <laughs> ah, yes. Is there anything below that? Oh, 
The secondary headquarters. <laughs> sure. Is that an old town too? <laughs> no, that one's down here. Okay. Head Where's to the, the docks. Th- All right. You'll see it. It's the big stone castle. They probably won't let you in, though. I'm a doctor. They'll let me in. Okay. It's the big stone rebel. <laughs> Who's he talking to? <laughs> Just some guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I'm like levitating pieces of wood up. <laughs> With his mind. <laughs> yeah, at, at some point, once everything gets all cleaned up, I'll head my way over there. It's kind of getting towards the end of the day now. Um, it's Tomorrow. like 3 or 4 in the afternoon now. Yeah. Tomorrow. Um, meanwhile... You've you've chosen a spell. Yes. What spell? Okay, so Morgrim is going to examine the yak. Uh, she's going to look deep into his eyes uh, <laughs> and assess him, try to figure out what, what's going on. Uh, I'm going to turn to Havoc and I'm going to say, I can give you seven minutes with who's ever trapped in here. Do I know it's your brother? Do I, I no, think, no, I don't okay. think you know okay. specifically that it's his brother. But I'm going to let you know, this is going to hurt me a lot. That's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to hurt you more than it will be. I'd like to think <laughs> that we understand each other more and that you've become a better person and I consider you my friend. So I will do this for you. Sam, who cast this spell? Oh, um, <laughs> what was the name of the magistrate guy of your order, uh, Volley? That oh, was, it was a person? Was it yeah, a person? It was, um. It's so, not a demon. But it doesn't have anything to do with the, demon, the demons. No, it doesn't have anything to do with demons. <laughs> Morgan is something a demon for the rest of yeah, the game. Yeah, so are you going to cast a spell on the act? Uh, I'm going to attempt it. This was a political move, not a, not a, uh, Curse. demonic move. Okay. You cast a spell? Yes. Okay. Okay, what's going to happen to me? <laughs> so this is a standard action spell. So this, this enchant this chant that she sort of gives off is quick. Maybe her feathers flutter a little bit. And um, you can see this, like, sort of warpy, ethereal connection that's like spaces being distorted that springs between the two of them. And <clears throat> in that instant, Morgrim, you can feel a hellfire blaze inside of you. Okay. Not the implications of a yak, but rather the horrors and 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 corruption of demon. Um, it is an immediate and overwhelming force, okay. and you are sort of shunted from the spell. It it it, it fails. It ricochets off, and uh, interesting. And you take. Uh, one wisdom damage. Okay. Does it ricochet off onto another animal? <laughs> the chicken. <laughs> the chicken nearby. I was curious if I would be able to take on the form of the act, but then the rest of the curse would still mm-hmm. exist. Yeah, that spell doesn't have to do with curses. That has to do with corruption, which is a mechanic in the psychic book, okay. which is not part of our game. But... But <laughs> since demon and corruption are two words that go like that, but I figured the demon shows its face in that instance. So you know that there's a demon inside of that yet. <laughs> there's a demon in there, and you don't know why Havoc's been carrying it around. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'd so like much. to... It is the most horrifying experience you've ever had. Am I not going to... And you just go fly, right? I am I not going to... Or can I, like, respond? No, you're not unconscious. You, okay. you, you, just, you just can feel, like... Like a chunk of your brain is missing. Oh my goodness. Yeah. All right, I'd like to leap up and start to scream in tango before I realize I'm not screaming in, in common and then switch to me yelling at Havoc saying, why would you want to release that demon? It, it, it almost killed me. What's going on? And Havoc has his arms around the neck of the yak, leaning all his weight onto it, just sobbing. Meanwhile, <laughs> Zul can hear... <laughs> Zul can hear the squawks of a, of a bird which you, <laughs> who has been set on fire. <laughs> and you can tell it was it's coming from the, uh, the the stable that you left your horse in. So I'm going to run towards the stable. Yeah, you and, get uh, there. Well, okay, so I get there. Did I hear the whole demon speech? You can you get there at, at the point where you can see Havoc hunched over the yak. He's sobbing. This bird is like flapping and there's, and there's feathers this going everywhere. Bird. This bird. That's all you are now. <laughs> this the, rest of the, animals, the rest of the animals 
are, are, are going into this havoc state. There's like chickens and, and cry <laughs> havoc. Like all sorts of, all sorts of madness is going down in here. And a moment later, the stable keeper comes running in. He's like, what the hell is going on in here? Jesus Christ! Now, uh, <laughs> does Dr. Hippocampus Griff and Victus hear this as well? Yeah, are really up around right? there? Um, this is like a block away, so you do hear all this commotion. It's it's a lot of noise. It's like horses horses are going off. There's 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 <laughs> horses are going off. <laughs> so he's right. You know, it's 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 loud. It is disruptive. So, yeah, somebody reached out the window. <laughs> Someone turn that horse on. <laughs> oh god. I, I turned to Griff. Griff, did you drop something again? I may have. We should probably go check that out. That's our stables. I, I'm like holding the chair. <laughs> I <run laughs> <over> the chair. <laughs> no, 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 one. I run my horse and donkey and just calm them down. I look at a, a more more grim and uh, havoc and be like, "What did you guys do?" I'm I'm crying, dude. Yeah, he, he's crying. <laughs> yeah, so I, 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 just, I direct all my attention to Morgan and be like, "What did you do? I just saw a pump of feathers. What's going on here?" Will you allow me in my angered state to cast a masked calm animals? To like get dead silence, so I can. Well, you've got um, the fe- the uh, the heightened heighten spell. I do. I do have heightened. So spell. you can I would mass like, calm. Uh, I'd like to mass calm everyone to allow dead silence, so I can just go at havoc. Heightened spell doesn't change the effects of the spell. Well, how All many? Right. Let, let me see. Is how, it a number of animals per caster level or something like that? Let's find out. This charm, calm animals. Charms one d four plus level of animals. Plus level hit dice of animals. Yes, sorry. 1d... 2d4. Four. That's a 2. That's a 2. That's yeah. a 2. 2d4. So that would be 7... How many animals are in here? Let's start with that. Before I <laughs> attempt this. If I barely make a difference, I'm not going to do it. Um, it's about 2 dozen animals. Jeez. 2 dozen? And most Wait, animals oh. are like 1 hit die. So that would be 7 animals plus... Well, all the small animals are a lot less than that. Yeah. What does Heightened Spell do? Heightened Spell... So if you have a spell that's like Fireball... Mm-hmm. But you want to put it in, and it's originally a third level spell slot. But you want to later on in the game, you have like a seventh level spell slot. In case and you want to cast fireball with that slot. That. If you do that ordinarily, <laughs> you're just wasting a seventh level slot. But if you do it with heightened spell, you use up the seventh level slot, and then you get a power bonus equal to the difference in slots. Oh. So, so it's like it, the, the, you can't use like a, a higher spot. You, you can. can. It's, it's just called it's, intensified spell. No, that's different. You can, um... So, like, just, if I have, like, fuck, I don't know, one of these spells that does something, and then it's like, oh, on a higher slot, it um, does extra stuff. You, if you pick it at, as, like, a first-level spell, you can't cast it as a third-level spell kind of thing? Ordinarily, no. Okay. But with with the, with the feet, you can't. Can. It's... Because, it's, like, in 5th edition... In 5th edition, you could just do that. Yeah. In this game, you can't. So now you can. That's why I did that. I was going to say, so, like, I was looking at it earlier. So, there was... Like water walk as like a third level spell, and then there's like water walk communal as like a fourth level spell. That's different. It's a different spell. That's, those are different spells. Communal lets you spread the time out. Okay. But if there was the a main lot, thing, if that there was like water walk third level and water walk fourth level. The main the main thing that the heightened spell does is it lets you get the bonus of uh, a higher save. Okay. So like if ordinarily you've got a like color spray spray which would be like fifteen because it's a first level spell, you could prepare it in the ninth level slot. And then get an extra eight DC okay. to save against that. It, it makes low level spells relevant by letting you use them in high level slots. Gotcha. At the consequence that you're wasting the slot for a low level spell. Okay, I understand. <laughs> Color spray, <laughs> terrifying. <laughs> I, I, I just want to point out. I think this might be a little interesting. Uh, so on my person, on my right hand side, I have a holy symbol. But I have it like mostly tucked into a pocket just to be used because I ever need it. But like a quarter of it is showing. So mm-hmm. I didn't know if every single time I turned and the yak saw it on my right hand side, would the yak do anything? No, it, it, no, there is no reaction from the yak. Okay. No. Regardless of where you stand. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Unless you stand right behind it. I'm gonna holy symbol <laughs> around my gosh darn neck, and I've got a demon in me too. Okay. It's <laughs> your sure business. So the, the most animals, or, or the most I can roll as a fifteen. Would that be only fifteen animals that I could calm out of the twenty? Is it hit dice of animals? It does. 2d4 plus... My level 7. Yeah. You can hit dice. You can hit dice. Um, you don't know the answer to that question. Okay. Because I just calmed mine 2 down, so it's actually only 22. 
Yeah, you can yeah, make yeah. a handle animal check to calm your animals down. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that does exist. That's a thing. Uh, why am I handle animal check? Okay. <laughs> God. <laughs> Damn. Uh, Fifteen. Mm-hmm. You calm your own animals down. I, I will attempt to calm as many animals as possible so that, A, I don't get trampled. I'm just a little bird. Uh, and B, so I can finally be heard over all this nonsense. That's not bad. No, that's not bad at all. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That's a 7, and it's a plus 7. 14. It's a I... lot quicker than counting them. Alright, well, I got a 14, guys. <laughs> you calm down pretty much every animal in this farm. Fantastic. A lot of the, like, the sheep and like the, the, the little animals that are hanging out here. So there's some rabbits that are just... Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's they they scream! The yeah, they yeah, they're all like one eighth of a level. <laughs> Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah, the barn, the barn store closes, comes down. The stable keeper's like, what in the world is going on? <laughs> and, and this dick's just crying. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, I would like to go over to Havoc and, and be like, we need to talk. There's nothing to talk about. Have I made it to the stables yet? Shut up. <laughs> um, yeah. Because me, Griff, and Tommy, yeah, we can't just run over. Yeah. All right. How how distraught is Hack? Like, is he like able to talk, or is he like his mascara is running? <laughs> <laughs> and, and I imagine like a just a complete blubbering havoc or like kind of like just upset and just needs to take a couple of breaths before he can even start talking. Um, he's openly weeping. Um. <laughs> At, 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 as as Morgan's talking to him, he just he's a little bipolarish, right? So he's just sort of snaps to anger, kind of. I, um, I'm expecting that. So so he's gained some coherence, I guess. Yeah. Okay. I was didn't know if I was going to cast something on you or not. <laughs> a calm person. I yeah, was ready much. with it too. Yeah, me too. Just I, I always have it ready because of havoc. Ever since the demon came out, everyone's like <laughs> toes around <laughs> havoc, <laughs> or. Like this Butt guy. knives. <laughs> no. Look, I'm... <laughs> or just prepares to stab him as good friends do. Yeah. <laughs> 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 to <laughs> 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 heal him, and then <laughs> 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 over the mic, pulls him into a pack, and then everyone's like, "Well, I guess we're going this room." <laughs> well, I mean, uh, technically, the reason why they were healing him is because if he was a demon, he would start dying. Yeah, but also, technically, it's also a calm person spell, just very focused. <laughs> yeah, you, you I'm going to make call it to the, spinal cord in half. <laughs> you, you three make it to the barn. Things have calmed down in here. Havoc's mascara is running. And, My uh, God! <laughs> and, I'm building the door for. And you can feel the tension in the room. You could cut it with a knife. <laughs> I got dual wielding, so now I can cut it with two knives. Ah. Yeah, yeah, isn't dueling like horrible in this game? It's okay, almost. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a minus two up to my attacks. Because they're light weapons. <clears throat> Dr. James McCabe just pulls out his notebook <laughs> and stands back and watches. <laughs> I'd like to blind and not just kidding. Do you do like the whole therapist thing? You just kind of lean back to cross your legs? Yeah. Well, I, I find the notebook. I sit down on hay bale and get my pen out. Dr. Hippocampus, could you do some uh, active studying on this one? Because it looks like that might be some help. Oh, no. Why are you all here? Get out. We heard a lot of yelling and we want to make sure nobody's getting murdered or turning into a demon. <laughs> Everyone is fine, he says. An obvious lie. Yeah. Then, all right. Well, we Sense don't motive. Roll. You don't. You don't need no, to roll. Yeah. That's a lie. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So we don't. Uh, we don't believe that one. Like, he, he's. He's like. It, it's a lie, but he's not even That's trying to bluff. He's just like. <laughs> Everyone here is fine as tears are streaming down his face. He looks like he hasn't sleep slept in in longer than he's actually been. Oh. Like, like, it's worse than... Uh, no. The bird has a little bit of blood coming out of its nose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Work of smoldering. Like, everybody just got there just in time to see the last little feathers fall. I'm guessing. You know, hold on. I haven't even talked about my feathers falling. All of you guys know my feathers falling. It's because they're fucking Do everywhere. Do I understand? <laughs> you're not molting? You're, no. Yeah, you are molting as we speak. Of course there's going to be feathers everywhere. There's going to be feathers everywhere if you weren't hit by a... I just asked to start molting today, guys. It doesn't happen in 24 hours. Science. It's everywhere. I know. They are tengus. Tengus might just, like, 
<laughs> All right, naked oh, no. Like a dead pine tree. <laughs> um, I'm just stuffing pillowcases with my feathers. Yeah, I sell them once a year, guys. Good revenue. Um, uh, Gross. Thank you. Uh, I would temporarily like to distract everyone by saying we should all like grab our animals and like wrangle them back in. Uh, I don't to think kind of cover. stable. <laughs> He's got a nice little hut out back. You haven't talked about him in ages. Quick, this is a good boy. He kind of died in the volcano for all we know. <laughs> Isn't that your god? <laughs> I'm not oh. in there. <laughs> There's a clear difference between Grictus and Rictus. Yes, there's Grictus, there's Rictus, there's me, Victus, there's my uh, <laughs> a priest who runs the church locally, whose name is Lictus. Oh, jeez. Under Rictus's rant, can I use that as cover to whisper to Havoc, look, I want to help you, but I need answers. And then I'm going to walk over and actually calm my animals. Your animals are already calm. Fabulous. I have a... Well, she, she means like herd them back into the stables that yeah. everything's burst out of. <laughs> yeah. My mule and my sheep. Goat. It's a goat. I forgot. So back to the strip club. <laughs> yeah, I guess the club. Since all of you guys are over there. <laughs> yeah. So he built this one hell of a door. Awesome. Yeah, you, you and this guy, you and this dude, his name's Greg. You just spent, <laughs> you just spent like the whole day building this door. And it's masterwork. Awesome. It's a beautiful door. I, I thank Greg for his time. Um... What I does go, the knocker look like? <laughs> I tell him he's welcome back here anytime for his own business, some pleasures, whatever. I go inside and I uh, talk to Spellcraft. Okay, what, what do you want to say? What do you want to say? What do you think of the door? Oh, it's a beautiful door. Yeah. Thank you. I, I think we should sign a contract, you know, for the partnership. Oh. Oh, you were serious about that? Oh, I'm serious. Oh. I want to be a partner. I'll do what I have to do. Oh, okay. Uh, you'll do what you have to do. I was going to say, if I have to... <laughs> Andy. If, I was going to say, if you need somebody to you get the day to day operations here, you know, you can let me do that <laughs> while you uh, do your other business on the side. <laughs> yeah, okay. So how about uh, over the next two weeks, you... Uh, no, 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 that's fine. Yeah, you, you, you just, like, help out around here. we gotta, we got to split the place up, you know? Yeah, that's fine. Get everything back in order. I was going to say, so I might... Well, do you can polish our rods. <laughs> you get a five points to the stripper poles. <laughs> <laughs> They're immovable. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. <laughs> They're fucking immovable rods and stripper poles. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I like take out a piece of paper and stuff and like sign it out, you know, that this is a partnership now and everything. Yeah, and, you, uh, you went to profit, a legal profit binding wise. contract with, with um, Spellcraft. Profit split. Do do I don't know. What do you want to do for profit wise? I know he's the original. Oh, you owner. probably have to invest in the company. Yeah, invest. Oh, no, that's fine. You've got gold. What kind of Sorry. <laughs> we're, what? we're back. Does he have to roll to see how thoroughly he reads this contract? That would be appraisal. Is appraisal a thing? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yes, appraisal. it's the second one. <laughs> I was looking at acrobatics and like, this doesn't say appraisal. <laughs> Just be like, I, I ask him, what, what he wants to do for profit-wise? Um, right now, the split is mainly between him and his wife. Yep. The other worry. Yep. Uh, He's married. Yeah. <laughs> I knew this from the first time. Um... Uh, Come on, <laughs> and you, you can you can be factored in as like a manager. Volley is super invested I, I want, in the marital status of so crap. <laughs> listen, I, I'm building a relationship with this guy now. <laughs> really, there's a lot. Of, <laughs> listen, there was a lot of personal moments there. Now I'm kind of invested into this character. <laughs> yeah, so, so he says. Uh, I don't necessarily. I mean, I will happily run it like a manager, but I do want partnership into this. Yeah. So you know, he, he agrees to sign you on for like ten percent. 20. 15. 12. Cool. I was going to say, I, I, know, I know you guys started this, but we're literally Five. building it from the ground up now. Whole new name and everything. You just built me a door, though. I kind of built the rest of the building. But I'll make sure it lasts. Well, let's let's see. Let's see. That we're, door's going to see a lot of, <laughs> lot of <use. laughs> we'll, uh, we'll We'll start you at 10 with opportunities to move up. You know, it's it's a it's a it's a partnership with growth expansion. It's a, they've got a potential. There's no erosion here. <laughs> Unless you do a bad job. I'm in charge of all the dancers? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> HTC's gonna be the hell of a party. 
He'll shake his hand and say, all right, you got it. You, you guys spend... Guys, <laughs> you guys going to be discounts for HD servers at this gym floor. <laughs> you guys spend the rest of the day like, like coming up with the particulars of this contract. Yep. And before too long, you have a very well-executed contract. All right. I thank you for all this time, and then I head back to the headquarters. Okay. Um... We're gonna own I tell him uh, I have a guy I possibly might want to hire for some outside contracting. His name's Greg. It's a good guy. Yeah, he says that we we need some furniture in here. So Greg, oh, I I got a guy. All right, cool, cool. Well, didn't you make some furniture? He's fixing. Furniture. What's the spending? Oh, yeah. What's our spending limit? <laughs> I don't have very much money. All right, we'll get to it. If you All have right. raw materials, can you fix them into a finished product? <laughs> Only with the creation spell. Uh, just... I said I'll, I'll get Greg on it. Don't worry. Why don't you just get all of us in here for one day? <laughs> just like we, <laughs> we got this. Don't worry. I said I, I just thank him. I said I'll get on to it with Greg uh, in a couple days here and uh, head back to HTC. Yeah. So by the time you get back to to the, the headquarters, it's it's now nighttime. It's like nine or ten o'clock. Um, everyone else is sort of back in the headquarters. Uh, Havoc's probably out in the stable. That's right. I'm looking for Atlas, by the way. I haven't and, seen him all. Uh, Atlas is here. He's come back. Yeah. I, I ask him where the. Is the scroll shop? <laughs> oh, it's just across the street. <laughs> <laughs> I look at him. Yeah, you like look out the window. He's got a huge <laughs> sign in the shape of the scroll. <laughs> right. It's like blinking lights. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Why? Wow, you need some mix right now? Uh, uh <laughs> I'm just like in a little bit of shock. Okay. I went from going to buy some ink and scrolls to owning part, being a part owner of a strip joint. Uh, that's spellcraft. He's a tricky one. You gotta watch out. Is Last there... time I wound up in a contract with him, it didn't work out. Uh, interesting. Nah. <laughs> Griff. That was calls for Griff. He says, I heard, I heard you wanted to go up to Old Town with, uh, with Old Doc here. Old Doc. Did you hear that? You said it the other day. Did I? Yesterday. To you? Yes. No. <laughs> Remember I told you where my, where my dorm room was? Yeah, that was a conversation. Yeah. Yeah, I just asked you about it. I never said you. Well, I, I, I'm, I'm pretty clever, and I'm pretty certain that you want to go up there. Yeah. Yes. And I also heard from Spellcraft earlier today. He, he likes to talk. He's a chatty. He's a chatty <laughs> rock man. Yeah, he is. That's for sure. He said that you guys were uh, planning on sneaking up there. Possibly. Possibly. Depends on uh, Possibly. if there's no other way up, but apparently it's now paid for, so it's not the worst decision anymore. Mm. Option. But... Well, I'm not going up there. Okay. That place is hell. <clears throat> All right. But if you guys could go up there and get something for me. Mm-hmm. What are you looking for? Mm-hmm. Yeah, the thing hidden in your door. That's right. Yeah. My trunk. Yeah. I kind of need it back. Oh, yeah. And uh, if you can bring it back. I'll hand off my uh, ink to you. I've got a bunch of it. Uh, if, if you can give me the What trunk. is it you're looking for? My trunk. He's looking for a trunk. What's in the trunk? My book. What's in the box? Is it a spell book? <laughs> it's my spell book. I'm going to want a little more than ink, sir. <clears throat> you can have whatever else is in the box. Mm-hmm. I'll split I it want, I want to know some of those spells. Oh, I see. How about you guys? <laughs> <laughs> what is the likelihood of a tango walking around in Uptown? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! We can it's, it, it, it happens from time to time. Look, I, I want to help you, but I also want to be realistic about our chances of being caught based on my appearance. So you know, it just so happens that at the end of every uh, year, and as we are coming up to the end of our year here, the uh, the old magic college holds an open house. I knew it was going to be open house. I thought it was going to be a ball. <laughs> you I want to go to a party. <laughs> oh, I don't doubt that the kids there will be. No, I'm not here. <laughs> yeah, I'm not here. That, that, that comment wasn't that's, that's me, Sam. Yeah, <laughs> Sam wants to go to a party. He's out there dancing. Does he act like slow dancing? <laughs> he says, and, and Atlas goes on. He says, um... <laughs> Reminds me of prom. Atlas goes on. He says, uh... They, they hold this open house for prospective students. Um, you get a chance to tour the grounds and ask questions and see classes in session. And it, ha- it just so happens to be starting two weeks from now. No. So yeah. let's be reasonable here. Who? 
like I did the exact same thing I did recently. Oh, two days, yeah. two weeks. There you go. So uh, let's let's be honest here. They're looking for people like you, Atlas. Well, they're never going to find out that they want me. But what are the chances that this group would be considered a? It's an open house. I walk in. Well, we do have an magical ability. To flex. <laughs> Except. <laughs> and then say, I know spell-like abilities. I bet I could get myself in there. Yeah, the only ones among you who would have any real trouble is anyone who couldn't cast a spell. But, uh, <laughs> Havoc, you can. Havoc walks in. <laughs> <laughs> the door closes as Havoc walks in. Oh, right. <laughs> well. We could. That's all right. We can. I know how to disguise people. If this is all about stealing stuff from those high town wizards, no. I'm in. I'm not asking you to steal anything. I'm just asking you to get back what belongs to me. Yeah, we're volley turning. Volley. Even better. <laughs> Alice. Do I want to know what kind of spell is on that trunk? I know what kind of spell is on that trunk. Uh, yeah, it's it's pertinent for you guys to know what spell is on that trunk. Uh-huh. Why don't you tell us? Yeah, there's a Nefredi. Nefredi. Yeah. A Nefredi locked in that trunk. Oh, yeah. If you touch the trunk and you're not me, he's going to come out and kill you. Why so are how you not mean? coming with us if we're going to get attacked by a large demon? You'll be spotted easily. Yeah, yeah Headmaster, Strix, Headmaster Strix is keeping his eye on me. I can feel his scrying right now. Uh, and even if we disguise him? <laughs> no, Wait, I mean, if he's scrying on you... Well, well, let's just hope he's not listening to this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> he probably is, though. I don't know. You look around, there's like a bunch of like, <laughs> of like marks on the walls. Is there any way to no. disarm him? Disarm can we pick the up the trunk from the monk? Die. Or communicate with it? If we throw magic potions at you, anti-magic <laughs> potions at you, will the scrying not work? Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> what, are, what are you guys talking about? No, you have to go away. <laughs> you put put that potion away. <laughs> if you're me, you can open up the chest. Mm-hmm. If you're anyone else, the Freddy comes out and kills you. Okay. Is that if we touch it? No, we what s- if we don't open? It? How do we stop that? If you touch it. Dang. Oh, how do you stop it? Can I wrap it? Turn it off. off? <laughs> no, you got to be me to turn it off. Can you touch something that touches it? What are we... Probably not. <laughs> so you're asking so if I use open clothes on it, it's still going to attack, right? Well, the chest is locked. Okay, I can... It's locked and it's also enchanted with a genie. How intense is it? Is it wait, it's a It's an Afredi. It's an Afredi. I'm trying to remember which one they have. That's genie, the fire. Afredi, Those genie. are the fire ones, yes. Okay. How, how, awesome. how much of a badass is this guy? Oh, he's pretty badass. On I have a scale actually, of 1 to, let's say, 20. Uh, <laughs> like around 14. <laughs> <laughs> so you're asking us to get a chest that we can't touch. Well, you can touch it. I just, just asked to that. It. You can touch it. And then it comes out. And then it comes out. Once you touch it, it comes out. <laughs> what if we move it? That counts as touching it. What if we get somebody else to open it? They die, and then we touch it afterwards. I, I think we'll be able to figure it out. I think you guys were... This are, time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One question. Do you know his name? Freddy. No, oh, no, I don't, Freddy. no, I don't know his name. That would have been... His My father knew his name. Wait. So you have no idea what it possibly could be for his name? No. Let's go back to that um, Dr. Hippocampus church and go into the, the memory <laughs> of the universe and be like, say your parents' name. Wait, so if you touch it, it's fine. Right. Yes. Can we cut off your Let's hands? cut off your hand. <laughs> <laughs> no. I kind of like my hand. Uh, oh, just a finger? <laughs> some of your hair? Yeah, what's one of your hair? Yeah. I, that, that, I don't think that's going to work. I think it will. I've got uh, another question. Those. How did you get this Ifridi to protect your chest if you don't even know its name? My dad did it. Uh, Who's your dad? His dad's dead. My dad died yeah, a while ago. Dad. Dad. <laughs> the shaman knows. <laughs> oh, wait. Have you spoken to his dad? All right, guys. We have a plan. Who's wait, dad? <laughs> Where was your dad buried? <laughs> We're going to go wake his body up. Like, that's my two questions. <laughs> Who is it? <laughs> <laughs> Poor Alex. This guy's are coming on real strong here. <laughs> Too personal. <laughs> Uh-huh. Do you want the chest or not? <laughs> yes, I want my chest back. We need to reanimate your dad <laughs> so that we can talk to him about the name of the genie. Yeah. 
Yeah, I know in the name of Virginia. Wouldn't his powerful. dad be able to open the chest too? We could just use his skeleton to open it. <laughs> yeah, we can take his hand. You uh, guys cannot defile my father's corpse! <laughs> We're not defiling it. You're just borrowing it. it. Besides, it's <laughs> probably somewhere at the bottom of the harbor right now. Uh, We're yeah. such great friends. <laughs> <laughs> I think you guys will be more than capable of dealing with it. We just have to hope that no one else in the uh, in the uh, college has been able to get into my room. What room is number is yours? Yeah, six thousand, six hundred thousand and seventeen. All right. What side of the building? Which Hold tower? On. The middle. Six hundred thousand and seventeen. Is it 17? Was I right? 71. 71. Oh! oh I <laughs> That was pretty close. <laughs> what side of the tower? How many floors? <laughs> what are you talking about? Because I need a direct route to this. Yeah, what like, building is it in? The mail dorm? It's in the mail... Well, you see, the Mage College, if you haven't seen it before... Nope. Atlas begins to draw on like, the whiteboard that's... that's <laughs> <laughs> the blackboard, the chalkboard, that we have for the... Uh, for the... For the uh, HTC. 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 <laughs> Just music. It, he flips it around. It says personal use. <laughs> and uh, he sort of draws out this floor plan. And the, the building, if you can imagine for the for the viewer, Come looks right. like an old uh, Newport mansion. You know, like the yeah. like the 1800, 1800 Newport mansions. This is like yeah. Atlas's eight. You know, we're trying to break in and get the chest. Wait. So close. Atlas's seven just doesn't have a good ring. I don't want to know what's in this chest. Well, now hang on. Ocean's eight. Ocean's thirteen counts him. Ocean. Oh, okay. So Atlas oh. is part of the plan. Yes, so Atlas, Atlas is eight. Atlas is eight. <laughs> um, hmm. Maybe it doesn't matter. Remember that movie, right? <laughs> Someone was um, over there, like googling. <laughs> someone asked me a question. Uh, oh, the floor plan. Yeah, yeah. He says uh, yes. You see, the college is a very finite building, and in order to sort of circumvent that problem, they've been adding on these extra-dimensional additions to the building. So when you open up a door, it doesn't go into the room, it goes to another dimension. And that is sort of the whole thing you got to have to wrap your, your head around. But if you take the tour, they're going to take you right to the uh, dorm rooms. Do you have a key? To my room? Yes. Yeah. Does that key turn into anything when you touch it? <laughs> Go ahead. How is that moving? I walk up. Go ahead. I made the key. <laughs> no, it's just the key. We just get a knife out right behind, him, waiting for him to touch the key. Yeah, the key will get you into my room. It won't get you into my chest, though. So start. Okay. Do we need to be disguised to get in, or simply have a magical? Aura? I think we're overthinking this. Let's just do it. I, think, <laughs> I don't think you guys will have a problem if you show up on the uh, open house. If you show up before then, they'll probably kill you. And yeah. Conveniently, two weeks. Now, yeah, if this is, is, is to try to shrink the, uh, I'm gonna look at some of my spells. Called yeah. the swamp, the Yeah, I use shrink. Um, doesn't but, work on magic it, but it doesn't work on magic. Right? No. And your chest is magic. Yeah. Yeah. And so if you I'm touch it, you die. Yeah, I know. Well, I was going to cast it. Wait, on and do could you damage. cast Because mm-hmm. we need to smuggle ourselves. I want to shrink it so it's in hard to see. You're going to have to get the chest out. Yeah. Because I'm the only one that can open it, really. But the chest is magical. Yeah. Now, right. well, what happens if someone else touches the chest, the g- genie comes out, kills that person, what happens to the genie then? Goes back in. Okay. Does the genie regain all of its health when it goes back in? Usually. Not. Whoa. Okay, so he can't just send, keep sending people there. Oh, well, he sort of sleeps in there, you know? That's how he, he rests in there. I don't know if it's immediate or if it takes him some time. Is but. he only focused on the person who touched the chest? So if somebody takes the chest, if somebody touches the chest, can we just walk out with the chest while he's mid battle? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen anyone do that before. A lot of college. There's only like two incidents with my own with my freshman year roommate. Is the stuff inside of the chest? We don't need the chest itself. itself. That's right. We just need the stuff inside the chest. He is. What? I think he's actually got a position there now too. Who? So his freshman roommate who opened the chest twice. And there's duo door. <laughs> so yep. Yeah. Entner. E N T N E R D O U D O R O D 
<laughs> O-R-F. Duo-Dwarf. Duo Duo-Dwarf. Duo 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 Wait, there's two Duo Ds. Duo no, it's there's three Ds. There's a lot of Ds. Yeah. And okay. The third D is silent. <laughs> Duo, yeah, one of those Ds is the silent. Duo-Dwarf. <laughs> the Duo-Dwarf. I think one of them is silent. Duo-Dwarf. We just called him Duo. Okay. Yeah. How I wonder how you came up with that one. How good of a relationship did you two have after you left? Well, they tried to kill him. Well, no, I mean, I got, I, got, I you know, you're Freddy. He'll go away if you tell him to go away, but only if I tell him to go away, you know? Yeah. Wait. I think I'm ready to set off. Yeah. There's only a. We have two, two weeks! Two weeks! Two weeks! How far can message extend to? I'm imagine us just asking these Message? questions over to It's a short range spell, but there are higher range spells that that work similarly. Message. Are there things that are similar to walkie talkies? This is more of a general. Or, or a recording. Yeah. You do understand we're going to another yes, dimension to get I, into I his room, right? That. That's fine. But the animal can speak in the person's voice. That's, and and that's pretty <laughs> straightforward. There's also, um, what do you call it? Sending stones. Sending stones. Oh, so we can try to find some sending stones and have you talk. To the Afridi through the sending stone. We're trying, to, to we're trying not to fight. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to work that way. We <laughs> but try. if you can find sending stones in the next two weeks, then go for it. We, we need backup, like just in case things don't plan out. Yeah, they, pan out. They, they'll pan out. We are fighting against wizards who are like ten times as powerful as some of us here in terms of magical ability. Well, well, I don't have to fight any wizards, probably. Uh-huh. We hate you. That's why we like backup. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Until then, I would like to convene on some spells once more. No. And <laughs> something else that I want to try. But we'll talk about that later. I need to go to the okay. great shop anyways. And I'm looking for some magic items. Alright guys, I think it's bedtime. It is It is getting late. We do need to plan. We have two weeks to figure out a plan. So yeah. I have a question. Are we going to do a fast forward of these two weeks? Yes. Uh, okay. My I, character would like to set up a palm reading, get your fortunes told, part of Taz's shop. Okay. I'm about to go around a circle and explain what everyone's going to do in two weeks. Yeah. That'll make yeah. it easier. Okay. So, uh, Havoc, what are you going to do? Uh, sulk mostly, um, but he'll also try and work out some of his anger and frustration in the uh, times two gravity areas. Uh, with Mofo. Um, he seems to be getting uh, thinner and more ragged. He's, he's not shaving, so his hair is coming back in. Um, and, uh, he, I don't know, he just seems in a bad way. Okay, so I, I would indeed like to uh, work on my section of Taz's store with okay. palm reading, fortune telling. Right, so much like that. a bird, you go and like bring things into this nest, like a bunch of garbage mainly. <laughs> And it's sort of like shiny, like, like, shiny, right? Like, 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 like yeah, like wrappers, and, <laughs> wrappers, and bags, and all sorts of like debris. I hang it from the ceiling, right? Uh, Zool, I, I need to buy ten more cheese homes, okay. and then um, I need Sorry, to. Uh, I was going to head down and just kind of talk to Spellcraft like every other day or something like that, just trying to get more of a relationship in there, trying to see if I can find any elves in there that. Who are might be um, in trouble or something or don't want looking to be there. for a better life, <laughs> pretty much. Okay, um, he puts you in connection with his new manager. He, tell, he tells you to, <laughs> to, uh, to talk to to talk to the new manager about employment of elves. Uh, this Ouroboros of information. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do, Victus? Please um, tell me you have like I, a uniform. You gonna, <laughs> so I'm going to go shopping for magic items, something like maybe a dex ring, maybe an AC ring, something like that. Uh, I'm going to look for one of those, what was it called, the seer stone? <gasps> I needed uh, my focus The sending stone. Um, I'm too. also going yeah. to try to dig up information that people might have on the, um, the like, plans and, like, secret routes people might have in the upper town in case we need to escape. As part of the, uh, as part of the, like the, the whole operation that yeah. spellcraft is doing. <laughs> okay, so I can do like knowledge local to know people. Who yeah. Might know well, people. Yeah, yeah. here's the real question: You guys can possibly go up in two weeks on your own. Do you want to do the spellcraft, yeah. or would you like to travel up there on your own and meet us there? I have a feeling like we're not going to be able to go up on our own. Yeah, that, they're probably. <laughs> <laughs> You said two weeks. We know about, oh, we know enough about that bureaucracy that it's just people rubber stamping and be like, did you sign the paperwork for the, uh, looks like you're not going to be able to make it. Do we need to be smuggled up there or can you just go to the open house? 
You need to be up in Old Town before you can go to the Old Town, the Open House. Okay. So they're not just going to let us up there just because we want to go to the Open House. Yeah. Can I find a focus lens in two weeks? You can try. I'm going to try. Um, what would you like to do, Griff? Griff is mm-hmm. going to, for however long it takes um, Victus to look for the stone, I'll help out with that. And I'm also going to um, study into speaking with specters. Toast. What do you mean by study into that? Or look into like ways to work in the library. Okay. Grave robbing, you know. I would love to see a scene where you get your fortune told. <laughs> Actually, that's your future idea. is like. <laughs> no, but she can see dead people. So. <laughs> what do you see in my future? You're born. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there's a woman in it. So I, I will also visit her and see if she can see what's haunting me. Oh, that'd be great. I want to cast the one where I get to change his future. No, no, he's <laughs> asking about his, his haunt. Oh, interesting. Okay. Okay. What would you like to do, Dr. Kirkus? Uh, Volley first. Okay. Me? Yes. <coughs> You're gonna I want to trade some spells with you, okay. and i got to start uh, talking to Greg about building us some furniture, and then also uh, get some... Does, uh, <laughs> I, forgot her name. I forgot her name. What's her name? Taza. Sat- Tara's name? No, no. Tara? Taza. Tara. Taza. Taza. Does she know how to embroider? He's going to use her. I'll have to ask her. her. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> no. I want to know if she can. No, I want to know if she can. <laughs> I hate that damn time. God damn. Mark. <laughs> um, I want her to embroider HTC onto some of the stripper clothing. There's not much. <laughs> I know. Well, it always starts off with more, but ends with less. <laughs> but is there so an HT in a... <laughs> You're going to see more later. We've got enough letters. <laughs> So, you know, get some stuff built, and while I have them working on that, I want to get some spells. You need some hair gel, too. need a lot of hair gel. Get that greaser on there. Are we all going to be involved in this new business of yours? And I- I'm not bringing you on yet. This is just, you know, it looks good. It's good for business, for HTC, for us to actually start building revenue in this city. Because I think it'd be good for us to actually have some. I, I find this company building thing actually really funny. <laughs> I like it. I want us to have some. Uh, Did you have discuss to me about it? Uh, huh? What's the new name of it? Sorry. Uh, what was the new name of the uh, sculpted figures? What are they called? Oh, uh, chiseled figures. Chiseled figures. Chiseled figures. Chisel for short. Uh, run the resistance out. <laughs> so, and, uh, Dr. Uh, we should have come up with a name that has the same oh, initials as HTC. <laughs> before, before I forget, I had an idea Con- for before Con- I leave. I want you to put HTC. your arcana mark somewhere on my hand just for. I want to test something later. No, no, no! Before we leave, it can't be now because it can only la- well, it can only last on a person for hunky talk a few days. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I want to do it at last. All right, we'll, 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 we'll talk about that later. Oh, oh no, it was a real bad one. This hot, was... taut, cunt. <laughs> oh Jesus! I always like to do that. Just <laughs> oh, leave that one. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> the first thing I do is I I look to Volley and Atlas and I say, "Do either of you know the spell teleport object? That might be helpful." That is a very advanced spell. Yeah, yeah, very advanced. It is more advanced than teleporting people, believe it or not. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah. It's OP. <laughs> oh, because you can just like teleport shit about people. Kind of. Yeah. Okay, never mind that. But Dr. Epicampus will be working with the tree blood and the syringes <laughs> to see if I can make some... Just yeah, yeah. in case... Things. We gotta okay. go back there. How <laughs> expensive are bags of holding? Expensive. Very Five expensive. thousand gold. Doesn't somebody have one? Yeah. No. We don't have that much money yet. We do, but a tiny one. <laughs> okay. No. I'm gonna go around the table. I'm gonna talk about what happened in the next over the next two weeks. Fabulous. Havoc. As you're working out, ordinarily oh. when you when you when you when you get mad, you sort of feel fiery, right? You can um, feel it. You can feel it yeah. seeping up. Well, that feeling is not quite there anymore. Now, when you when you when you're when you're pumping iron, you can feel like an icy chill. Morgan, you um, you set up this 
uh, fortune reading, palm reading, business. Mm-hmm. Um, what was the other thing you wanted? To, you wanted to find something. Um, I wanted to find my focus lens, and I was going to see about um, Griff's haunt. Okay. Um, do I find a focus lens? You do not find a focus lens in this amount of time. Um, I know. But you can, you can, you can uh, make some some sort of... Oh, hang on, I'll make Griff make that check. Sure. Um, but your, your palm reading shop is established, and in the first week... <gasps> I make some money? Uh, seven customers come in, and... What, do you, what would you like? You're not able to bill more than like seven top copper pieces for your service. That's fine. So you make uh, 47 copper pieces. Fabulous. Uh, you are seeking to sort of build a connection with Spellcraft, and before too long you become a regular. <laughs> and, uh, and, oh man, I'm sorry, I got you hooked. And, uh, <laughs> Everyone knows I'm so the sorry. Tips and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> you are you're able to buy cheese. It's it's like two copper pieces per cheese wheel. So twenty copper pieces is two gold. Okay. Or, no, it's two silver. So point two gold. Yeah, two two silver. Point two gold. Can I add something? Yeah. I like to partially hire you for your cheese goods. To like <laughs> work. It's like a buffet, but your cheese is like the special. <laughs> You're going to buy the cheese at like the yeah, dumpster he's, market. He's buying the cheese. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of your thing. It's like Tuesday. every Tuesday is cheese day, you know. We're going to bring it down there, sell for double the price I bought it for. Yeah. yeah. Um, you and Volley come to some sort of conclusion about helping distressed elves. <laughs> I am a half elf, so I kind of feel, but I don't. <laughs> what? It's like I understand you want to help these elves at the same time. I'm like, sure, I need strippers. <laughs> You kind of, you kind of like. You also have to speak to the. Well, no, he put me in church. Yeah. Well, l- l- let me ask this. Do you even know how many elves are working for you? <laughs> Just for two Hold weeks, on. you go back and forth. Oh, you got to talk to the owner. Oh, you got to talk to the manager. Oh, you got to talk to the owner. <laughs> how many people work for us? How many elves? Yeah. Two. Two. How many people in total do I have? Oh, um, yeah. I know I got a range Can of different. Can you see going to be doing work? Logistical. <laughs> 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 Damn it! I want to start a whole manifest and everything. <laughs> so there are eleven species, two of each. Okay, so I got. What are the eleven species? Uh, not, got, not counting, so it's ten actually, not counting the two orders. Okay, so I got twenty employees right yeah. now. <laughs> are all of them strippers, or are these? And like... So I got two elves right now. Um, they they all they all can strip. Uh, but some of them ten bar, some of them weight, some of them. What do you want your elves you know, it's, to do? It's a, it's a mishmash. I, I, they was, all have the I wanted to, to see if they like their positions or not because I don't know if they like stripping. Can we know the species, please? <laughs> do they like stripping? They'll come up yeah. as we go. Do they like stripping? Is I, what he wants to know. I don't. I can't roll for that. Can I? I really like the idea of every every single. M- member of this business are all also strippers that strip while they do their <laughs> so like, There's a janitor. Like the janitor's got the got the mop but is like doing it all sensual like. <laughs> like the bartender's like pouring <laughs> stuff all over them. And and Bali's there in his uniform, which is just like a speedo with a tuxedo, like oh, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> and like a sword on his back. Okay. okay. The pimp never gets all right, all right. fully new. We, you you come to the conclusion that one of the elves, the male elf, it's 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 a pair. Yeah. It's, it's, Always need a male and a female. Yeah, right. Um is um not happy with this job. Okay, so I gotta figure out a way to get him out of there. Yeah. So wait, is he just not happy stripping? I guess he's just not happy with his job. Yeah, he's, he's not, not happy, happy with the position. Right. If you could find me another male elf, I'd appreciate it. Unless you want the job, of course. <laughs> <laughs> they call him the big cheese. He's <laughs> <laughs> got a cheese wheel. He's <laughs> like, take a bite. <laughs> no. Oh, boy. All right. Uh. How much money did I earn from that? Anyway? <laughs> no, no, no. It's against. It's actually, all, no, it's not against religion. It's all in tips. <laughs> uses, just a tip. Mm, he uses his strip against his religion. Havoc, not havoc. Uh, Victus. Yep. You spend time searching around for uh, uh, like magic shops, mm-hmm. and much to your surprise, you find a shop that is selling a pair of sending stones. Oh. I. I. Enter the shop. Looking for ascending stones, I'm are you? for ascending stone. <laughs> I could tell just by looking at you. And it's also because I've been asking everyone around this <laughs> yes, shop. Yes, you certainly have. 
All right, how much? How much for a second stop? Ten thousand gold. Oh, oh. There it is. And that's just for a rental. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> that one? Oh, we don't coast. We, we don't consign anything here. No, no consignment. All right. Well, let's let's. I'm going to do a quick appraisal check on the sending stones. Can I see them? Yeah, they're displayed. He's got them out. Oh, okay. he knew you were coming. I'm doing an appraisal <laughs> check. I'm waiting. I'm going to do an appraisal check on them. Yeah. I have nine thousand sixty nine gold. What do we get? Nine hundred. <laughs> <laughs> um, that is a fifteen. Um, these look like rocks. <laughs> you can make a knowledge arcana check. I don't know. I, I don't. I can't make that check. Okay. And then you don't know whether or not this guy's selling you actually stones. <laughs> I might need to call in a specialist. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you, there was there was another. You were also looking for a ring of dexterity or yes. like plus How one. How much gold did we get last time? Three hundred. Everybody got okay. And you Except know, and you, you, you've been around these these items. These like plus one items. Yeah. are common. Okay. In in Portanova, um, and they cost a thousand gold pieces. Mm. So plus one dexterity, thousand gold pieces. Plus one AC, thousand gold pieces. I'd like to talk to you about this uh, plus one ring of dexterity. Yeah, I've got one of those. Yeah. You know, in my time, I've found that uh, swings aren't really worth their luster. They're usually about 500 gold pieces worth. Especially if you're talking about, like, the good stuff that people are making. The good stuff over in the uh, the soaks. Yeah, I can usually get those for 500, but it's a little dangerous over there, so I'll cut you a deal. 600. I'll cut you a deal. There are no good things in the soaks. Oh, not if you don't look closely. I'm a man of... Interesting. Of Rictus. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> you know I've got to make missionaries, missions into, uh... <laughs> oh my god. i got to make missions into the soaks every once in a while. But... Still having trouble with that new language. Still make missions into the soaks for missioning. <laughs> How about this? I'm going to do it with the point. If you can get me a I... lifetime free pass into that new strip club... <laughs> <laughs> I'll sell the ring to you for 600 gold. I've got, you've got yourself a deal. All right, get the pass, and then come back here. I'm going to get the pass, yeah. and I'm going to get my specialist. Your what? Specialist. You, oh, sure. All right. <laughs> the next day I grab uh, Atlas Blue to see if you can take a look at the stones. Okay. Or, actually, no. We only need one man, and that's you. <laughs> What's his name? <laughs> mm. <laughs> I don't remember my god. How am I going to remember your name? <laughs> this is fun. Oh, it's been said earlier today. Fla- flagellant. Flagellant? Mm. Oh. Man, he's not going to get a year free pass. Or <laughs> <laughs> Sir? <laughs> Have you had a stroke recently? <laughs> yeah. I'm forgetting the name. It was actually a drug. <laughs> Something ball. Come on. You can do it. Volley. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Alright, so I approach Volley. And I say, Volley. He just like, he like kind of looked at me, <laughs> stopped, and just <laughs> stared at Amos <laughs> for like 10 minutes. He asked, Volley. Volva? No, that's not right. Like we, we know who is the actual like uh, uh, player character in this because he just walks into the <laughs> the building, stares at him, not doing anything, and then then hits B to talk. Volley, volley, yeah. I've got good news. <laughs> yeah, one. <laughs> I've got you a new patron. Okay, how much is he bringing in for money? Mm. <laughs> He's bringing in something real good for us, and that is. Seer stones. What the? Sending stone. <laughs> what is a seer stone? Sending stone. Sears is sponsoring us? What? Yes. Sending stone. Yes. Oh, sending stone. <laughs> I need to, I, really, I need a favor. Just one sending stone? No, we need two? Well, we need two. He's going to give us two sending stones and me a dex ring, but he needs a lifetime pass to the... Uh, is it a lifetime pass? Let's give him a year pass and not tell him about it. Um, <laughs> Conditions apply. <laughs> Uh-huh. To the uh, strip club. Chiseled figures. Mm. He also doesn't. It's free to walk in. The money you spend is all. Yes, yeah. I was about to say he he isn't necessarily getting a pass on the cheese uh, or the uh, strippers. So no, there's a door fee. Yeah, there's a door fee. Does he have a ring of strength by chance? You don't know. He might. 
He's got he's got basic uh, magic items, so he might be able to get you one of those. Tell him if he gives us the sending stones. No, I no, can't no. tell him in person. What? I need you. You need me to come. Do you see what I am doing Look, here? man. You I am a busy man. You have a very <laughs> good... He's, <on> the <laughs> he's like, I had two call-outs <laughs> today. <laughs> this is this, night. this man elf doesn't like his job, apparently. Like, get <laughs> <laughs> I'm just putting stations on my ears because I'm a half elf. Sorry, I'm so <laughs> trying. While we're going over there, we can take a look at elves. Well, look, and you've also got the cheese man as your backup here. Hold on, my shift ends at three. I'll I'll be there then. All right, shift. All right. You're the man. You can leave Listen, one. when people call out, you're here for shifts. <laughs> uh, can Molly I has no trash? idea how many. I'm like talking. in the middle of talking to you, and I just say, "You get on the fucking stage." How about how about I help out a little bit around you? Do you need somebody like taken care of? No, no. Who's no. Done I'll just meet thing? you. I'll meet you there at three. All right. Okay. <laughs> Is it three yet? Yeah. Okay, it's three. So what? We walk in. Yeah. All right. What's the guy's name? I never asked. Him. Good <laughs> God, man. <laughs> This is why you're never going to be a business owner. Uh, you're right. <laughs> I run a church, or I'm a part of a church. You're barely associated with the church at this point. You don't even know. <laughs> They're like four percent. We don't know how you got involved with this church, but whatever. Ah, I go up and I introduce myself as Volley, the uh, current manager of. <laughs> you can tell from the body. Like right? holy shit, shit. <laughs> chisel sculptures. <laughs> holy shit, he's my specialist and yours. I didn't. I didn't think you'd be able to do that. So I go up to him and be like, "So what?" What's the deal here? What you want a lifetime pass? That's right. All right. And in exchange, I'll reduce the price of his ring of dexterity by four hundred gold. I don't care about his dexterity ring, to be honest, sir. <laughs> so this is what I am proposing. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> I know we need the two stones. Those are ten thousand. Yep, I'm aware. And I'm also looking for a ring of strength. Oh, I've got one of those. <laughs> Keep his discounted. I don't really care what you do with him. Well, I don't care what him might Exactly. Yeah. So well, if... Hold on a second. Says he brought it to the great businessman. I stand up on the you, table. You or a small chair. I, like I like to think of a greater opportunity. Right. Where, you know, you give us the stones, you give me the ring, you charge him whatever for his ring. Yeah. And not only will I give you a lifetime pass, I will actually give you sponsorship. Mm-hmm. I will have your name on the walls there and be like, hey, after you're done, you know, chilling out here, go That's visit this guy's shop. You I know. can't give you. I can't. I can't cut the price on these sending stones. I I understand that, but I would like to just borrow them. You know, one business end to another. You know, get some uh, insurance on them, possibly. So if anything happens to them, you'll get paid you no matter. Speaker what. system. <laughs> you'll get paid no matter what. And I know this town has insurance for this. You'll be covered, and I bet you already have insurance for these stones in case they were stolen. No, I can't let you borrow them. They're too valuable. But I will give you the same discount that I offered him on your ring. If if you want sponsorship, they're gonna it's gonna be free. The ring? Yeah. No. Oh. You know how business I get a day, and the amount of business you will go up in. I don't know. I don't know if it's worth that much. It's a real risk. Like I said, insurance is a great thing. How about you? Uh... Do like a demo, you know. Sponsor me, sponsor me for like a. How week. many? How many days has it been since yeah. he's been talking to him? Since you went to two, three, four, <laughs> every five, month, six, every seven. Month. <laughs> uh, you know about. Is it almost? Is well, it about a little bit? Okay, so I'm like one week. If you see an increase in revenue, you let us borrow those sending stones. I don't plan on keeping them. You can have them right back, but I get the ring. And like I said, I don't care about his deal with you. What? <laughs> one week. I'll let you borrow the sending stones. And I'll give you the ring a half off. Which is what, 500? Yeah. For you give it me half off, off as well. <laughs> that's a part of the deal. Nope, that's a part of the deal. <laughs> if we do really well, 250 for the ring. If we do really well, I'll do that. And for mine. <laughs> I put my hand on the top of the ring. <laughs> he just puts his hand on the top of the ring. Look, I'll you hand this deal. pass as well. Do you hand him a lifetime pass? Oh, yeah, I give him a lifetime pass. I said, um,. This is a voucher right now. Once the week is over and things are sealed, you'll get a gold card. All right. Um, a gold and, card. Uh, yeah. But that's for our VIPs. Yeah. All right. The red, this the will red, get you uh, through any gates to any VIP room with any dancer. The velvet, right? call it. But <laughs> one week, all right? Mm-hmm. One week. Right. All right. And I go back to my busy day. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, wait. Does he? Oh, no. I got to come back in a week for the ring. Yeah. I love how he has a negative two of charisma. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> you don't say that. I was speaking through him. 
obviously negotiating. <laughs> yeah. Chris, if you didn't make me roll. <laughs> you were I forgot what you wanted to do. I was gonna look into Oh, you're gonna mentioned. get a reading. Yeah. And also I was assist gonna me in the, uh, help him with that. Yeah. And then I was Griff was in there in I didn't, I didn't watch that happen. And then uh look into the ghost scuffs. And I'll also the um the tongues aspect of my curse. The tongues? Is that the second part of the curse? Um So when you when you go and get your first reading you, 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 you go around, right? You, you, you're trying to find someone who knows what they're doing. Yeah. And a lot of the people you meet are just sort of full of it. You know, they're con artists. Until eventually you realize, hang on, there's a shaman that, that has a room right next to mine. <laughs> <laughs> and you go and you go to her uh, her um, nest. Pop-up shop. All right. I think I have a spell that I can talk to haunts. Give me a minute. You might it's have to wait. It's going to cost about two days of time for casting. <laughs> I know. It, it might be a bit of a month spell. Did you do it, something it, It's a mechanic, so then you just, you just <laughs> intertwine it into the world. I'm getting fornicated. Did I do something interesting? I'm owner of a strip club now. All right, I got a plan for you once we're done. Okay. Right. I just saw the plan. All right, got it. Yeah, else. and we all come back to like the same house to sleep at the end of each day. <laughs> yeah. Some come back later than others. Do you like read? <coughs> I can read speak haunt. with haunt. Haunt answers one or two. Uh, one read. question for I every two levels. Me, sure. So let me read about that. Speak so if you have fourteen speak. questions. Does it speak say something particular haunt. that you want me to know? I'll let him ask the Try questions. <laughs> because it wasn't the way I was interpreting it earlier. It will tongues, take me ten minutes. You, you guys are on the money. tongues or actual literal tongues? <laughs> okay. Are we well, first we thought it was a bunch of language. I just grew nine tongues in my mouth, yeah. apparently. <laughs> I thought it was like an Event Horizon thing where, like, tongues get big. Have you guys seen that movie? Have no. you seen the movie? Okay. No. There's bad tongue stuff in it. Um, <clears throat> well, that's actually really cool. Yeah, they're, they're, they're in the level one, for sure. But, like, in a way that's not... But it's more than one. It, yeah, there's spirits. Yeah. So there's something about you that's attracting these spirits. Oh, crap. What? Your 15th level from Haunted. Reverse crap. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> um, but yeah, so... So yeah, I walk into Morgan's pop-up shop. I'm like, hey! <clears throat> so you can, like... See dead kids and stuff, right? <laughs> orphan oh, kids. Orphan kids. <laughs> I've Maybe seen thousands of those. Four million people in my <laughs> orphanage got burned to death. <laughs> Out of here. No freebies. No freebies. <laughs> you suspect, Margaret, that you might be able to see the spirits around him if you use your uh, seeing uh, uh, dream, dream catcher. Do I see more than one? You see too many. I see too many? <laughs> oh, yeah. my. You, you're having a hard time filtering them. Oh, I'm freaking. <laughs> okay. I wonder um, if the mage college Griff, have one of those. <laughs> not only are you haunted by a spirit, you are haunted by many. Do you know what? A lot of orphans us? too. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not too sure whether or not you're seeing his spirits or just the other spirits. <laughs> those orphans, orphans just all lie around so much. <laughs> no offense. I have the ability to speak with a haunt. However, there's no way of focusing unless I can get my hands on a focused lens. Would you be willing to help me find one of those so I can perhaps answer some questions for you? Sure. You can try one of them. Maybe. No, I have a helper. Does that a help? Helper. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> but not in two weeks. We yeah, your week. two weeks of searching have kind of already happened. Oh, okay. So you help her in the second week of searching. We can look at the same. And, and, and you, you, guys are, you guys are pulling up like leads, but you haven't found one. Okay. okay. And What's our strongest the, lead? <laughs> looking into tongues as well. Just kind of like general knowledge. Alternatives. Uh-huh. Um, freaking out. <laughs> Zen, you know. What language do you speak of? Celestial. Celestial. <laughs> Have you tried the yeah. uh, Church of Rictus, Dictus, Victus, whatever it's called? Rictus! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this this oh, is stripper called the, <laughs> the Church of Dictus. <laughs> <laughs> You find some You're information. Higher. You find some information about Tom's. Um, you 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 find, you find like a book. You you visit a library and you find a book on uh, celestial. 
and you learn that it's it's a language of angels, and that one of one of the things that angels like a lot is music, and you reckon that if you could if you could somehow conjure an angel, you might be able to speak with that. Okay. Um, if only we knew someone who could play. Music. You, you've seen you've seen like rituals in these books that say how to conjure angels, but you can tell that that's nonsense. But like like. You know, like which chords to play and, and how to how to dance and stuff like that. Um, but you you do you do realize after doing lots of sort of like reference checking that it is possible to conjure an angel. How? I don't know how. Yeah, you don't know. Seven, seven planar ally three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, it, you know, it's not going to be easy, but you know it's possible, and you also know that since angels are the ones that are speaking this language, they might have something. They might know something about. Yeah. What's going on? I speak Celestia. How do I? Oh. <laughs> Awkward. I don't. I, I think the understanding here is it's that the angels have the power and they know what's going on. Not that I did. I have heard there was a secret chord. Not that distributor. That you can play. It it please the Lord. Oh my goodness. Doctor Kevin Campus, I'd yes. like you to make an alchemy roll for me. Ooh. Come on, baby. You don't really care about the garbage. <laughs> Your lab explodes. <laughs> Is that a two? Nineteen. It's a nine. Nineteen. Okay, okay never make out what that gonna roll. <laughs> You're spending multiple days doing this. Is this a meth lab? <laughs> yes. Oh, there's the twelve. <laughs> there's a twelve. Okay, one more roll. Oh, how high is he right now? <laughs> he does like wakes up. It's like a Breaking Bad. He wakes up in tiny whiteies and the death. <laughs> yeah, so you're you're uh, a hell of a drug. <laughs> you're working on these infusions and these extractions, and you're having a hard time figuring it out. There's something there's something that's not at all right about this black tree blood, and. I, we've got the fucking the strip club. We got the the metal metal <laughs> We can run this shit. <laughs> I think that's sort of the ultimate goal. Like, that's what I want to do. That's what I'm like. I'm getting into a yeah. business. I've got religion. You've got the strippers. You've got your the religion's the broken right here. Right <laughs> we'll get a look. All right, the first one's free. <laughs> Um, <laughs> yeah, because once they you, leave, you know that if you spend more time stop on this, doing blow, and maybe if you get lucky, <laughs> you'll you'll have a better chance of understanding these things. So so we're we're fifteen to twenty, and finally, volley. You right. spend your time managing. So you, you come across the uh, the furniture with Greg, and and the building is coming along now. So okay, hold on. So furniture. Yep. Uh, you want to do spells as well? I want to do spells with you. Mm-hmm. Um, I also want to show you a ring that I got mm-hmm. from a while back that I haven't actually done anything with. No. Nope. Oh, that's right. My ring. Yeah. And My ring. Uh, I spent some time with the owner. I forgot his name off the top Spellcraft? of my head. No, no, no. Or the owner of the uh, shop. Oh, you never said his name. <laughs> his name is Octavius. No, you said it. I just forgot. It? No. And I guess I want to see how we did for revenue in the two weeks. Time. I was going to talk to you about that elf, by the way. Oh, and the elf issue. I got it. I got a lot. To do. Wow. Um, oh. The way I read dice, that's a five. That's not the way I read. Because <laughs> that's the tens place, and that's the ones place. That's a five. Aren't you supposed to designate which one's which before you roll it? That is a five. <laughs> You'll get five. No, because no, I have no. a, I have got a dice that has tens markers on it. Yeah, so but that's a five zero, because zero, five. It's, it's zero zero and five is five. Yeah, it's made five gold. <laughs> I bit, I was I did he better says, than the strip. <laughs> that was really poor. He says there's no difference. No one else came in. Oh, it's the guy. I look at him and I go, you know why no one else came in, right? No, you spent your whole day at the strip club. Don't you? No one was here to run your shop. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> uh, I'm not giving you the stones. Get out of here. <laughs> and no discount. Kill him. Can I kill him? <laughs> I'm gonna be like, I, I have the gold card still in my hand. I'm like, so you don't want this then? Because you're. Hmm? You should comp Raven. I actually like that. I didn't think about that. Problem is, I can't do it yet. There's one very simple reason I can't do it yet. Comp? Yeah. Compensate. Compensate Raven. Raven won't allow that for one specific reason. He hasn't learned to teleport yet. 
<laughs> so Till then, awesome. I can't get him back. Just trust this guy. <laughs> Come see your shop all the time. <laughs> I told him, so you don't want this gold card then? I'll do the gold card for, for the uh, discount. <clears throat> I'll take that deal. Why are you here? <laughs> He's just like, How did you find us? I came with you. <laughs> He's a rogue. He sneaks around. <laughs> <laughs> I'm that kind of rogue. <laughs> He's a butt rogue. Uh, <laughs> it is a strange. I go. I go like this. I put the gold card away. I'm like, for a discount, no. And then I pull up the silver card. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, for this, yes. What is the silver card? <laughs> so silver card will get you in any day of the week, but it won't get you access to the VIP rooms. I'll take it. For the discount. Right. 250 for the ring. No. 250 for the ring. No. 500. <laughs> Why are you still here? Because this is my job. It's literally what we were planning. 500 and I'll send you your ring for the card. I don't want to spend 500 for the ring. It's not worth it. It's worth a thousand. It's still not. <laughs> you could immediately yes. sell him the ring back for a thousand. <laughs> <laughs> I whisper into your ear. It's worth a thousand. <laughs> You sell things back for half price. Yeah. yeah. Which means we would get it for 500. <laughs> we just split 500, 500. Uh, I try to talk him down to 300. <clears throat> we could pull the check. Can I eat the help in this? Is there anything you could drink? Eight in the room. Eight in the room. Am I with them because I was helping them do this? Molly, do you have any. Thing you could trade as well. Yeah, I guess. Because I can, I can hair. pat him on the back and give him uh, enhanced diplomacy. Sure. Yeah. Do it. All what right. is it? You get plus two diplomacy. Oh, that's good. It bounces <laughs> on my minus two to charisma, <laughs> and I'm enhancing you by assisting. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, no. No. Roll. Roll. I roll. roll. I roll. Oh. <laughs> his uses his rewinds time. Natural twenty. Oh, 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 three rings. <laughs> <laughs> You have me a freaking potion. Potions. <laughs> I wasn't there. Doctor. Doctor. <laughs> yeah, when you when you roll poorly in a life or death situation, now you're fucked. <laughs> That's once per day. That's once per day. It's once per day. That's true. You're this isn't middle of the week. Come on. You really could have just. Yeah, this this, this is the day before the, the day that you need to. Well, you, only you know, this, month. this is uh, this is yeah, happening yeah, yeah, on the day before. This is this was the last day of the week because we were looking at the money. How much money did I make for the week, by the way, for just a strip joint? I know he didn't make anything. Um, Two weeks revenue, but I got to pay off people, so think it's, don't throw me on the bus. And invest into the, build, the, the building. Five. What? I rolled a five again. <laughs> <laughs> His dice are broken. I paid the most money. Hey, they didn't used to roll like that when we played Warhammer, so. <laughs> yeah. People are Your dice are it's, broken. It's not, it's not the dice, it's me. Yeah. It's literally every roll I make. Shouldn't I be rolling for money? What no. the heck is this? You make five gold. So, uh, so so basically, Molly, after paying off everything I had to do for all the work, I only have five gold. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so Bali, uh, you paid all your employees. So we money, though. Did we get the rings up? Bali, Bali mutters and stumbles his no. way through a. He what? offers the ring of strength for two hundred and fifty gold pieces. All right, I take it and I give him the silver card. What about the ring of dex? So I give what him the about silver. It? I'm a part of this deal. No, you're not. <laughs> yes, we agreed the thing. So you're giving me a currency check. What is it? All right, I'm great, fucker. I've got good diplomacy. I'm just going to roll in one. I've got okay diplomacy. Can I get some assistance? Yeah. Cool. I'll tap him on the back, too. You can roll again. Yeah. Let me roll. Let me roll. Roll the one. He looked for me for help. He's like, please. <laughs> Immediately glance into the back of the room where oh, you probably are. So. <laughs> Come on. Hey. So what is it? So, so something. <laughs> you just Molly, Molly like tries to talk this guy into something, and it's just this terrible, incoherent mess of bullshit. And I'm just like, the time rewinds back. <laughs> I him on the back, and I give him a little push, and he, he gives this eloquent speech about right. why everything should fix. <laughs> Victus comes forward, and he's like, he's like, this is why I think the ring should be what it is, and he just. Mutters and runs through this fucking bullshit response. Starts ranting like, about how ripped this would have his head. I reverse time again. <laughs> Tap him on the back. <laughs> how much? How much is your assistance? Then two. two plus two. Okay, so that's plus eleven. So that's a twenty-nine. That's impressive. Yeah. He says that he'll give you. He'll he'll sell you the ring for five hundred. 
Like originally deal. That's the original deal. That was the original deal. No, the original was six hundred, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> there was also one more thing I wanted to do. I wanted to go to that I'm not guard right station. Oh you did want to go to the guard station. Oh, yeah. And raise hell. Raise what? The guy fired? About that guy. Much. <laughs> he must have got the okay, guy. Um you get there. I'm a well respected doctor. And this is this is like the most clerical and um like bureaucratic place that you've been in this, in this, like once you get to like the secondary headquarters, is where you go, right? And um, you 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 spend the better part of like ten hours waiting in line, <laughs> and uh, you finally finally get up to the top of the the, the desk, and the, and the guy the guy sitting there, he's a drow. He says, uh, oh. <laughs> he says, how can I help you? <laughs> well, <laughs> is it fucking morose? <laughs> you should have taken me with you. <laughs> <laughs> if you wanted to come, you go come. <laughs> Dr. Hippocampus. My Dr. Dr. Hippocampus. We somehow got you with us, so we don't. We well, don't I, can, uh, I, I can regress drops. <laughs> <laughs> I, I explained to him my encounter with the guard, my displeasure. <laughs> Is that so? You notice that he's not writing him. anything down. <laughs> I, show him, I show him my official papers. Okay. Right. He doesn't look up. Um, then, he, then he slides this piece of paper through the little slit. Uh, like it's the same. It's the same deal from before. <clears throat> and he says, "Fill out this form <laughs> with the name of the man you'd like to have brought to trial." <laughs> I'm having some real hitchhikers guide to the galaxy vibes. <laughs> oh, it's lunchtime. And you see that this form has impossibly small font, and it's like, like, like you're you're struggling just to read it, and. Uh, he doesn't seem to. He doesn't seem to have anything else to say to you. <laughs> he spends another ten hours filling it out. <laughs> oh my god! I do fill it out. <laughs> Sounds about right. Completely. Okay. And duplicate. He is a doctor. God damn it! <laughs> yeah. So you come. You come. Back. Like, this guy is it's it's a doctor script. You can't read it. <laughs> you come back. You hand this guy duplicate, and he seems surprised for a moment. Like you almost. You almost see expression in his face. <laughs> And um, he says, very well, we'll submit this as soon as possible. <laughs> and he gets up out of his seat, like goes up like a step ladder, like, pop, 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 and reaches up to the top of this big pile and <laughs> puts your papers on top of the pile. And then pop, 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 back down the step ladder, he sits back down. Is there a priority bin? You, no, see, you see a priority bin and it's coated in dust. <laughs> <laughs> I, my mage hand goes up, takes the paper, and slides it into there. <laughs> Natural one, he doesn't see that. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, it's awesome. already been. I don't think it's going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll see. So I, I want to talk to Volley about the well, uh, elf. Yeah, I got two, I got two more things to do. I got oh. you, and then I got um, Atlas to deal with. So <laughs> so I, I talked to you about the elf and go so. I see the elf is the male Busy elf. Man. Does he have a name? The, well, what's the man's male elf name? I don't know. Which elf? The, the stripper? The male yeah, that's the, unhappy with yeah. his current position. It's, it's Melf. It's Melf? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Melf is currently Melf. unhappy. That sounds... Okay, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> it's Melf the elf. God. So I talk to him, it's like, so I see Melf... Mel. <laughs> Melf is uh, really unhappy there, so I tell you what. If you take him off, I will find someone within a week, and if not, I will take the position. Oh, I will take that. You'll, yeah. take, you'll take that? Yeah. So you're getting this guy fired, and he has no job. To I to. Actually, how much are you paying Melf? No, I have to be reasonable. I don't know how much. We'll get back to that later, because I will do the bucks for this. No, 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 I, will, I will do the bucks for this later on, I well, promise. I'm going to come in with a whole thing. I, I, I want to I wanna hire, the ledger next I wanna hire Mouth to go with me. To where? Everywhere. Uptown. He's or hiring a Oh, you want, you want him to be your bad boy. <laughs> That or yeah, pretty much. You're gonna try to smuggle Melf into the into uptown. Apparently, there is room. There is room. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, 
It's weird uh, that you're trying to snuggle I, I, him with a well, collar just, around his neck. <laughs> I, I can't give you a number right now just because I don't, like I said, I gotta do the work. It but matter. it's minimum wage, whatever. Yeah, yeah, that's all I'm saying, okay? Whatever. <laughs> so, so, so if you want to pay him that, then yeah. But. Yeah, the long story short, so you give me the minimum wage. I will, I will, yeah. yeah I will and, give you and, enough to pay for it. And I go up to Milton and I'd be like, if I, you take his position, yes. In a week, if I don't find someone. Yeah, well, it's been a, but I'm gonna say we have this conversation halfway through, so I wanna <laughs> see if he gets the position or not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Let's determine what's the chances he gets it versus what he doesn't. I'll, I'll, I'll determine that when I roll it. Oh, my. Five. Ninety. Ninety plus zero. Wow. That's one hundred percent chance. That's not how it works. Yes, it is. <laughs> what? You work for me now. <laughs> That's a no, ninety and zero is one hundred. No, those that, zeros that are tens. Oh. That I find someone. That's no, 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 no. That you work for me. That what does it determine? <laughs> you, find, you find someone. You find someone. You find <laughs> you, you, yeah, you find the most charismatic elf. Oh my god. Oh boy. Name Flavian. Who's <laughs> <laughs> just playing music? Oh, oh but I, I can't do that. that. I the can't music player so. Mel would be my bag boy. Because yeah. I know exactly. Shaquan. 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 I forgot about Shaquan. <laughs> but I, I can't do that. Hire? Yeah, yeah. I, uh, what, I was gonna say, what does it cost? Like five copper pieces or something a day to hire somebody? It's like a silver piece a day. That's it. Okay, that's I, I do that. that. Okay. Yep. All right. So I got my replacement. That's good. <sighs> Everything's run smoothly in the manner. So now on to just what we were doing. Okay. Which I want to look at your spell book again, if that's okay. Yeah. Um, I Atlas, do... Atlas opens up his spell book just because he knows that you're going to be doing his favorite one. Yeah. Uh, just trying to remember what you know off the top. Uh, I, I know I can't afford any th- third level spells right now. I only have ink for a second level spell. Um, hoping to learn teleport. For your I thought you did because you teleported. Yeah, but that's not that's not a spell. It's a natural ability. It's a, it's oh, a class ability. Class ability. Self skin Can you me a quick favor and just roll for a quick uh, um, strength check for uh, Melf just to see what now? Um, just a how much he can carry. Oh, just like what would his strength score be? Yeah, strength score. There we go. Words we're original. Like original. <laughs> an, an original. Three d six. Hard roll. Two, four, and three. So that is ten. No, nope, that's right. nine. So, so he can hold... Uh, do elves have a minus two strength? No, they don't. Okay, no. He can hold like 25 pounds for a light load. Okay, cool. That's uh, And then is there any penalties? Actually, no. It doesn't matter. He's a bag boy. So if he has a medium load, can he still go 30 feet? No. Okay, so only like Okay. Does well, Melf want, want to be your bag boy? At this point, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> Melf didn't want the job that he had. Yeah. And so now he's just looking for another job. Okay. So now he has another job. Whether or not he, he he doesn't he's not worked for me long enough to tell whether or not he likes it or not. I don't know what's going on. We can make him a test. No, I, I, I was yeah, saying I, I should make you all carry this. Like you can literally steal the bit. Do I know how to do it? No, can you put this ball gag in your mouth? <laughs> what level is this? Those are second level. Okay. Now, if you don't walk faster, I'm going to start whipping. <laughs> I'll see what else is going to carry. No idea Which is thanks, Gabby, because I didn't know how I was going to get all this stuff in there. That's fancy. Mm-hmm. I don't know about this. So he's in camera next to here. We'll get back to it in a little bit. I know I'll have to. So while the two of you are like, oh. well, this is what I did. Like I, I spend my mornings with. I know, but it's like super concentrated. You're working on these spells, yeah, talking yeah, about yeah. ink, like very delicate inking, and the door is gonna fly open, and and have gonna be like, Atlas, holy fuck! And he pulls off, off the bandages of it, of his arm, and the, the the tattoos have gone from halfway up his arm to his elbow, and now there's sort of a purple as blue and red have mixed in the tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> You've been down in the script quote. Plus the protection. Hold a two. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I, don't I don't know what that is. Hold on. What are, is this? Is that in a language? Um, no, it's not a language. But the idea is that because you mentioned the thing about the frost. Yeah. I like oh. the. Uh, I was thinking about this actually at the end of last session. Right. Is that oh, like? Hold on. Yeah. Was that art check? Do you feel different? Was uh, doctor? Was this oh, another <laughs> That's what I rolled. Uh, 21. Uh, you don't think this is Arcana. Okay. That's all I need to know. I have no idea, man. Uh, and I also give, um, uh, Bali a tip for, uh, letting me hire Melf. 
Jeez. I rolled another two, so I don't know if it's don't knowledge or religion, right? <laughs> oh, that's a tip. <laughs> I threw my hip, bro. I'm going to keep that under wraps if you go up into Old Town, though. Uh, I'm going up into Old Town? I don't know if you want to. Yes. We've had this whole conversation. Who, who made that decision as I'm, I'm winding back up? <laughs> we need someone You're in the room. <laughs> I'm not going um, up into Old If it's up, up into Old okay. Town, <laughs> what happens if I'm recognized? I don't think you'll be recognized. And also... I have not seen a single hobgoblin since I arrived in this town, which is my intention, and my uncle's running around up there somewhere. Do you want to kill him, Freddy? We can disguise disguise him. We can also disguise you. I'm very good at disguises. Listen. You could be an old woman. I don't think you made me want. Yes, I could make you look like a Steganona. It was weeks ago your uncle was spotted. (sighs) But there would have been people who would have seen him. We're go- if we're going to the mage school, school and he was... <laughs> you'll be useful, trust me. And you'll like it, because you get to beat the shit out of an Efridi, and we'll probably remind you of a demon. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I tap my nose. I got the side. What I really want to know is, are you asking me to help you? Yes. Then I will go. Cool. That was easy. <laughs> so, is anyone not going? Yeah, this... <laughs> yeah, no. And because I kind of want a cookie, I'm going to show Zul my tattoos and see what he cheese. thinks of them. You want cheese. Oh my god. <laughs> the kind of, like, they, every so, once in a while, the purple like just moves a little bit further up into the red. Um, what happened to you? You know you're not supposed there. to touch certain yeah. things, right? You were there when I got iced. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, that was yeah. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> literally, <laughs> literally iced. And now I'm officially out. It's real Thanks. bad. So the the two weeks have gone by in a in a real blur. It was a busy busy two weeks. The effort to repair the town is very nearly finished. There wasn't that much damage, and they were able to get on top of it really quickly. Um, you, you you would imagine that that Porto was probably seen more devastation than just a few uh, uh, hurling balls of fire. Yeah, a lot of the damage was centralized around the orphan district. Yeah, mm. <laughs> we were very fortunate it's for a that orphan district. <laughs> Not anymore. And um, <laughs> nobody went into repair there. <laughs> and 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 sort of like really early in the morning, uh, like just before the sun even comes up. You hear a knock on the door, and uh, and it's time. Spellcraft is here. So we've rested. <clears throat> yeah, spellcraft. Spellcraft is here. He's ready to get ready to smuggle you guys. It's been two talk, weeks I, of rest. Um, rest. Talk to him. Yeah, tell him everything's good. Yeah, I got back. the furniture's almost done. Uh, he, he's been up to speed. Okay, You've been up to speed. Okay, good. Time. I just want. Uh, what's our return trip then? What's the plan for our return trip? Uh huh. Parachutes. Because yeah. that's something we would have talked about. <laughs> that is something you would have talked about. And you know that the return trip is the hardest part. Is is easier than getting in. Okay. Yeah. Right. Jumping. Yeah. <laughs> I could do that. Jump tap me. <laughs> yeah, you know you know that the um that I'm the easiest way to return is when when garbage goes out of old town. Okay. Like there's two ways that garbage goes out of old town. They either dump it into the bay. Or they send it down and uh, and and like process it, and you can get out that way. No, no, I just wanted to make sure we knew our escape route. But that, they time. do that frequently, so they do that like every. Um, day. I look around. What's the plan? One day, or is that our time frame? As long as we need. Atlas told you that the that the uh, the open house only lasts one weekend. Yeah. So, so we like, have a weekend. It's like, it's like two days. Yeah. So we have a weekend to get this done. That's two all. Two days at Because I have to, I have my own places I want yeah, to check two, while two, I'm up there. Anyways. Anyways. That's how long it would have been. I know. I need to go to the library while I'm up there. I know probably Vic this over there wants to visit his actual still constructed church. <laughs> oh, I've been back a couple of times. Doing... No, no, no. You have one in High Town or Old Town. Oh, that one? That one didn't get destroyed because they had a shield. Your yeah, other one's been. That one's okay. It's I mean, probably better. It's the one I'm in Old Town. Lo- I'm a local boy. All right? uh-huh. I'm not a big Old Town like you have an this. appointment. <laughs> I have to go to the medical college. Go. What, what kind of clothes is Milk wearing anyways? Um, they, like he's got clothes. He's got some. I'm assuming. 
underneath is. I was gonna say, is everybody well dressed? Head. Because I have fine clothes, but I don't know if everybody else does, and I can't well, provide fine clothes at my establishment, I, unfortunately. Yeah, I, I can only provide Atlas, thin clothes. Atlas would have told you for sure that you would have needed to acquire some nicer looking clothes. So we so, could approach the uh, precept. Precept? What's your name? Yeah, Clementara. Clementara. She gives you clothes. Yeah, so yeah. we can get some fancy clothes for us. I did. Fancy clothes. I get fancy clothes for Mel. Fancy clothes. <coughs> what should we write down for that? Fancy clothes. Just write fancy clothes. So what's the disguise that I'm going to put on to hide my hobgoblininess? And do I need one? Alright. So, your skin is quite... Great. It's really your face that we're worried about. Your hands we can cover up with gloves. So They're already thing, covered with Well, bandages. one thing you know about um, Uptown bandages was is up. that having yeah. servants follow you around is normal if you don't have magic servants. Um, and okay. servants are usually slaves. So, so they're like, don't smile! You like, literally have a slave, and you're like helping these people, supposedly. <laughs> the monstrous races okay, sort then. of wind up in slavery. You also so, said, and I quote, I don't really care if he likes his job. <laughs> <laughs> slave driver. So yeah, if you, if you were to just pose as a hot goblin, then you don't think uh, Atlas doesn't think it would be too suspicious, so long as you weren't mm. independent. I'm going to put on a disguise on your face to change your features enough so people wouldn't recognize you as a specific hot goblin. So I the only the only thing I'd be worried about with that would be if I actually ran into my uncle. But um, like, I'm more concerned about the fact that this is a, a city of s- almost a million or or several million people, and I have not seen one other hobgoblin. So uh, you have seen other hobgoblins, but only in the soaps. Only in the soaks. Yeah. All right, yeah, okay. I'll, I'll pose as a servant. I'm, I'm, I'm good at carrying. Whose things. servant do you want to be, though? Uh, you be my Atlas is not going with us. No. What about? Him? You're gonna need to take it back. I don't want to know this answer. Yeah. Yes, no. I, I get prison digitated every day. <laughs> my force. <laughs> You're gonna take it real bad. <laughs> yeah, we can't be smelling funny. As we're about to use a trash chute to get back how out. Are we, how are we getting uh, moved up there? Is that going barrels? Crates? Crates. Barrels and crates. What's yeah. in the crates other than us? Usually straw, but sometimes you have to share the space. You guys might not really enjoy what I'm sending you up in. Uh, but <laughs> Spellcraft sort of scratches his rocky head. Maybe some pebbles come down from standard. <laughs> um, it'll get you up there. That's what you want, right? Mm. Does it matter if it's fish? <laughs> no. As long as we have, we got to figure out some way to clean off the person who's with the fish. Oh. Isn't there a spell that does that? <laughs> does anybody here know prestidigitation other than Atlas? <laughs> don't look at me. I don't know if I know it. What? Then? Give me a second. Yes, I do. I know, but I I actually have to set it for the night because I haven't set any of my spells again. You should set that. Well, I got to do it because I got a new spell, so I got to change up some stuff, of course. I don't think I have anything that cleans. Okay. That's right. I'm keeping that one in case. Right, that that one. One. But that, uh, can you do it for all of us? I have that. Yeah. Presentation is a level zero no, spell. That's for me. He can just oh, cast it. Yeah. And there's only one what, person going on the fish, and it's probably right. going to be me. I can cast anybody. Oh, sure. Right. We will draw lots, and I will lose. <laughs> As a manager, I will take the empty crate. Now, again, <laughs> my question stands. Yeah. Great. My whole goal in life is to create equality of my species, but in Old Town, our are slaves. slaves. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> Freaking hell. This is going to be the worst day ever. Wonder... How do I change? What, what kind of outfit would we have instead of being fancy clothes? Rags. No. no. We can still put you in if you're rich. Yeah. Yeah. If right. you're rich, even your slaves are rich looking. Then... Yeah, you wouldn't look like you're like scum. You would look fine. Yeah. Like a butler and um yeah. Yeah. got it. Um before we leave away from you, I want that mark. <laughs> so I'm like in a suit. Yeah. Right. And it doesn't it doesn't look like it belongs on me at all. Like it's perfectly tailored, but it doesn't fit. Uh, like who perfect who has the key for his room? I'll take it if nobody this else. One Griff has it. Griff has it? Okay, as yeah. long as somebody has it, I want to make sure. As long as Griff doesn't suddenly... Is there anything time. else that we need to know about your room or this college that we need to be ready for? Besides your chest of death. Just bring back the chest. That's it. There's nothing else of value there that we should be looking for. Uh, I don't know. 
I was like, huh? Got it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, you said that minimum wage was two silver pieces, or Yeah. Uh, is that a day or a week? A day. A day, okay. Uh, I'm going to pay him four silver pieces a day to make sure he's happy. <laughs> um, how long have I had him for? Like, just three days? Um, you had him for one week. Because okay. remember, you, you, uh, oh, yeah. you, you spent that's right. Looking. So, uh, that's 14, that is 28. So today so is 20. Friday, we'll just say, and the event begins. Are we leaving at night, I'm assuming? We're leaving in the morning. Early morning, early, early Saturday early morning, morning, or early Friday morning? Because I know it's a weekend thing, that's why I want to go. You're leaving like early Friday morning, so you can get to the event, which it, starts Friday night. And then go Saturday night, and then yeah. Sunday, it kind of dwindles down. Yeah. Got it. That's all I need to know. Right. Um, I look at Spellcraft. Greg will be done his work tomorrow for the rest of the furniture. <laughs> He's continuing all right. business. All right. I want him to... I want, no, 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 no. I want him at the trash chute on Sunday waiting for us. If we don't show up... With a any, med kit. <laughs> med kit, preferably. Um, if uh, nobody shows up Sunday, send help. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Greg's the man. <laughs> How will Greg send help? Greg will come back to Spellcraft and Spellcraft, I'm hoping, will send help. I'm yeah. sure Spellcraft will have noticed if his manager doesn't show up. I got the weekend off. I've been doing a lot of hard work these last two weeks. So you guys all hurry across town. Um, it's a bit it's a bit of a, a bit of a hustle. A bit of a panic as well. You can tell that, like, uh, this this sort of procedure is not surgical. It's very messy. You know, he's got like these crates that are open around, open up, and he's got uh, you know, things taken out of them, things that were meant to be going into Old Town. And he says, uh, uh, "You get into that one, and you go over there, and, and um, oh, uh, oh, oh, no, wait, not in that one. No, that was that was one over here. That one, push that over there. Get that out of here. We don't want to accidentally send that one. You get in there. And you know, he, it's almost like." You have no confidence in this ability to, to smuggle across into Old, old Town. Yeah. But before too long, everyone's found themselves a crate. Please tell us what we're all in. Okay. I'm in nothing because he likes me. <laughs> you say that now. Havoc, you are in a crate full of uh, daggers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's going to be a bumpy ride. Right? He's actually fine with that. Yeah, uh, it's probably the best thing for me to be in. <laughs> Morgrim, you are in a crate full of fish. <clears throat> Oh, and the feathers. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you are sharing the crate of daggers. <laughs> um, you've got an empty crate. Uh, uh, uh. Victus has an empty crate. Zul is sharing a crate with daggers. Griff, you. You've got a crate with cheese. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> the cheese goes to him. <laughs> he is in charge of the cheese now. <laughs> Your crate was empty, so you're just in a crate of straw. Dr. Hippocampus. And your crate is being shared, you're sharing with Dr. Hippocampus. Oh Oh, my god, this is going to be the longest conversation of my life. How are you feeling? (laughs) Mouth has been crammed into the second crate. (laughs) You guys all got eights. (laughs) (laughs) It's like someone. I feel like Victus right now. (laughs) And Victus is like. Oh, it's quite roomy. <laughs> I'm sitting in a chair. <laughs> That's what they were sending was just like a really nice chair, right? like an oriental chair. Huh. <laughs> you know, this whole smuggling thing isn't so bad. And you can and you can feel yourselves moving along as you sort of get like jostled about on this cart that you're being pushed on. Careful the daggers! Careful the daggers! <laughs> and, you can, and you and you hear like the uh, you hear like the the noises of the, the floating disc. And like like a, a bunch of guys, a bunch of buff guys, like scattering away as the disc descends, <laughs> and um, and you can and you hear you guys hear this like chatter, like oh, did you hear about uh old uh, Tim? He got fired the other day. <laughs> yeah. Uh, except for that, that usually doesn't happen. Right? They said they, they said it was exported, expedited even. Huh. Oh, Dr. Hippocampus looks extremely pleased. <laughs> Nothing funny in these boxes today, eh? <laughs> and uh, you, you, the guy, it's not its not Spellcraft who's bringing these boxes, it's like another dude. You know, the hand, it's like handoffs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he says, oh, no, no, nothing, nothing too funny. And uh, 
Nothing too funny, eh? Oh, all right. Yeah, Larry, good, good. But <laughs> so you wouldn't mind if we just go ahead and rough them up a little bit, right? Yeah. What's the size of the crates, by the way? Pretty small. Yeah. <laughs> I know, but I'm like half the size. What are you doing with this goddamn dagger crate? So this guy goes and just like, like push this dagger crate, and he can't even budget. <laughs> like, what the hell is in this thing? <laughs> he says, oh, you know, rocks. <laughs> oh, for the addition. That's right, yeah, you know. You know the one going in. These guys don't even care. You can tell that their conversation is, is so is so blasé. And before too long, you can feel like the lift of the uh, elevator. It goes quite quick, too. Um, and you and you get up to the top and you, you, you can feel you can feel your, you can feel new guys some new guys show up and they start crating the stuff away and they're grunting and moaning and, and bitching and complaining and you, and you can kind of get it like oh maybe these guys are slaves too you don't know and, uh, and before too long you hear these big doors open up and then these big doors close and, and, and the light that was peeking through your boxes is gone um, and you stop Right. And the and the conversations around you have stopped. I'm gonna pull out my magical dagger, sure, and try to bore a hole through the uh, one of the you get like a drill hole. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you can get he it turns this thing into a corkscrew. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a, that's actually yeah, yeah and that fits yeah. exactly the description of this matter. And then I poke my eye through, and since I have dark vision, I can see. You can see that you're in like a warehouse. All right. Am I? Is there any box on top of me? Um, it's kind of hard. You can't see if there's a box on top of you. All right. Do I see anybody around me or hear anybody moving around me? Uh, yeah, you can see other boxes around you, but you can't see other people. Okay. So I'm going to subtly turn my magical knife into a like a, a small chisel and use the butt of my other knife to like start separating the top of the box. Yeah, you, you separate the box. I mean, these were these weren't hammered in all oh. the way. It was so designed. Across a good yeah. guy, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's a good band. So yeah, you, you get you, you climb your way out of your box and right. uh, it starts in Yeah. In the box. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now I try to see if I can identify the boxes of some of my other friends and make a perception check to see if I can see any like slaves or people keeping a watch on us. Um, there's no one in here. You can make a perception check anyhow. Okay. <laughs> Even then, 15. Um, yeah, you don't see anyone. Okay. But you do recognize the boxes, the other boxes. Yeah, one of them says knives. All right. <laughs> so I, all the other ones I, like, knock on lightly. The knives one actually help open. <laughs> yeah, you open up the knives one, and this is like... A gasp of air from, from <laughs> They're not even sheathed, they're just loose, loose <laughs> knives. I spit a mouthful of knives out. <laughs> the Beatles were better than you this. You pry open that cheese one and it smells really cheesy. It's a cheesy joke. Um, <laughs> oh man. We were so stocked in the knives thing and just labor breathing. You as pull, soon as you let us out, I give you, you pull a this out. <laughs> sure. You pull this smelly bird fishy smell person out of the out of a box. I've eaten three of the fish. Yeah. Um, she also molted in there. <laughs> <laughs> what are the feathers in my <laughs> in my oh, they're, they're, flying flying fish. Fish. they're flying fish. We probably should get rid of those feathers. No evidence. And no. before too long, after everyone's hopped out of their boxes and uh, cleaned up. Will you prison? Yeah, clean me up. <laughs> yeah, I, I do. You can hear some commotion outside as you hear like 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 rattling of a lock, like like, like a padlock, and uh, you can hear you can hear a couple of grunt voices like, oh god, we're damn locked every time. Everything hit this key every time, and uh, <laughs> someone, gonna, someone's coming in. I'm gonna stealth up next to the door, so like when the door opens, I'm behind it. Uh, the old PUBG move. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I pull out, <laughs> I pull out my sap. Okay, I sneak behind. A large pile of boxes in the back. Sure. Um, I have my fine clothes on. Now. Yeah. I'm just going to wait for him to open the door. Okay. Oh, you. I already have a piece of cheese to throw at them. <laughs> <laughs> I go back in the dagger box. <laughs> I need you. Okay. Uh, Melf and I kind of like go into a Melf. Melf. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you picked that name. <laughs> Melf and I kind of like go into like a corner, just try to in the dark, just try to get away from uh, the any eyes about to come in. Okay. Why don't you have me kneel down? <laughs> <laughs> so I, I will hide in a darkened corner as well and ready days. 
All right, so this guy comes through. Like, <laughs> you hear the, the padlock hit the ground. Like, stupid rusty son of a bitch. And, uh, and he opens up the, he opens up these big barn doors and, uh, the big doors, you know, like, like, yeah. a, like a five foot wide door and it opens up, um, obscuring, <laughs> obscuring you. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, this guy comes in and he, 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 he sort of like stumbles into the, into the dark. Um, you can hardly see, you can, you can hardly see him because of this like backlit silhouette effect. And, uh, he starts, he starts approaching the boxes. Well, I'm, I'm standing, standing right there. there. Oh, okay. yeah, you're right. You, you're right. Uh, I look. Oh. Right, I look right at him. Are you kidding me? Who are you? I, I was here an hour ago, looking over my deliveries, and you guys shut the place down and locked me in here. I didn't see anyone. Else. Are you kidding me? Who is your manager? Uh, no one's my manager. <laughs> All right, who do I report you to? Because this is ridiculous. You gotta report to no one. His name. What's your name? Someone. Who? Oh no! <laughs> this is ridiculous. I stealth up behind. I, I talk to him and I'm like, "You're coming with me." And I walk you out the door. That, I, I walk out the door and tell him he's coming with me. Oh, hang on! You don't have to go talk to no one about this. All right, this is what you're gonna do. You don't have to tell no one. <laughs> what are you doing? Twenty one. Fuck me! He got. Him. He hears you're coming. Oh, so this dude. Like, he's like, someone's behind me! <laughs> and he flips around, and he, like, throws his punch at you. <laughs> What's your armor class? Uh, 18. He hits you. <laughs> Jesus oh, Christ! Yeah. yeah, he hits you. What's up with this guy? Well, what oh, the heck are you he doing? three damage. Clock! <laughs> oh, I yell, I yell. What are you doing? That is my assistant! Why is he sneaking up on me? He wasn't sneaking up! He's been blinded in, way, way, uh, in the dark this whole time! I slate of hand away my, uh, sap. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> No! Oh my god! god. <laughs> Wait, I have a 20 to that. <laughs> Still so I got a 21. He's actually just a rogue. I need a 20. Because I have an extra bonus. Because he's a rogue. I have a bonus is for hiding weapons that are out of the other. From Slave Hand. Yes, like plus his level, plus some other stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah being a rogue is ridiculous. From Slave Hand. <laughs> Skills. Yeah, he doesn't see that. Um, okay. And I go... This is, this is the kind of thing I am not happy with. First you lock me in here, now you're punching my assistant. Uh, listen, don't, don't tell nobody about this. Mr. I need you to leave right now before I lose it. Okay, fine. <laughs> he goes and scurries off and, uh, and, uh, he, he's the manager in me now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he goes and scurries away and, and you seem to have gotten off the hook there. And no. Like, but you now have a way out of the, out of the, uh. Perfect. Everyone right. dressed in, just a digitation. I climb back out of the box and shake some knives out of my clothes. <laughs> I eat some of the cheese. Can I, can I have some of those knives that are uh, hidden and that are stuck to you? Help, help the ground. Oh. I look at this. This, this. There's like a trail of knives behind. <laughs> yeah, I look at Victus, whose nose is probably. Bleeding. What the heck are you doing? I had a handle. Can I take some knives? I wasn't going to take a precaution. I collect shiny things. Can I grab a bundle of knives and put them into my. Where was <laughs> <his> ass? <laughs> I'm gonna take four. Um, and with that, you guys step into all the time.